a brief vision into um, the projected path that laid ahead of you. Uh, the still enamored and completely in awe Snapjaw, after the crazy display of a frog hemoth smoke monster being slain by this uh, powerful bird like creature named Krinnick, um, is, is sort of being looked upon by the, the sole surviving lizard man uh, at this camp. Uh, and he's, he's looking upon you like you are heroes to him. Uh, you've gleaned enough information to, to discover that uh, the castle through the, the swamp maze that lies ahead of you that he is taking you through uh, is home to not only the cultists you've been tracking, um, but other lizard folk and bullywugs, these toad frog-like creature people. Um, and Snapjaw has described a life of uh, basically forced servitude as the flies just buzz around your head in, in the hot muck that is the mirror of dead men. Uh, you've agreed to travel with him, uh, and he is going to navigate uh, his way and lead you through the, the swamp maze safely, uh, allowing you to avoid any any traps, getting lost, any, any guard patrols that he's aware of that could lie between you and your final destination. Uh, and it is at any point between leaving the camp and arriving at the castle that we can pick up depending on how much time you want to take. Um, it's fair enough to say that you would have easily discerned or uncovered in your conversations with Snapjaw that his people were essentially um, doing the first of many waves of extraction of carrying those marked crates from the roadhouse. Uh, to this castle in the swamp. Uh, it's clear from the uh, vehicles, these dugout canoes that they have, and the only small number of laborers, the lizard folk that you have already killed, um, that the amount of crates that were still left in the roadhouse and the amount that are here with you, um, it would have at least taken several days for them to do these um, trips. And from the, the markings that you see in the maze and the swamp ahead that the canoes will travel through and the worn path that brought you here to this sort of midway point camp, it's clear that this is a regular routine. So, uh, at whatever point you want to pick up and, and work things out, uh, that is where we will begin. Uh, the last thing Snapjaw says as he looks at all of you is uh, the question of whether or not you're attuned for this raid. Well, there are two things that we wanted to figure out. Uh, do we want to bribe the lizard folk to rise up against their bullywug masters? Or do we kill all the rest of the lizard folk and then kill all the bullywug masters? <laughs> oh, that sounds that sounds good to me. Oh, that's a bit well, dark. Do we want a personal army, or perhaps no we give army. them the option and ask them what they would prefer? I'm <laughs> confident would prefer they'll try to kill us. If we kill all of you, or if you kill the people who are oppressing you? I yeah. I, I think we just let them rise up. I yep. think I know that answer. And then, second question, all the, the barrels that the cultists were dropping down here that they transferred away, mm. where'd they go? <laughs> uh, they're on the ground all around you. Uh, many of them were being prepared and, and brought towards the canoes before you engaged with them. I think some of them had even fallen and smashed back on the pathway uh, before the camp here, just, just to the oh. south. Oh. I want to look in them. <laughs> I do find too. the valuable I, I things. I would like a crate as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just crate. It's free real estate. <laughs> Everyone spread out. Find a crate. Everyone spread out. Loot all the loot. Um, Snapjaw, Snapjaw looks around at you and says, uh, Snapjaw, take you through the maze to the camp. And then he goes on to, because I'm not doing that forever. Uh, he goes on to basically say, you probably have um, a few hours before the next wave of lizard folk were due to arrive at this midway camp. Um, typically, uh, they light fire, and he points to the fire pit, to signal um, that they need assistance of any kind or reinforcements. Hmm. Um, but as far as he's aware right now, you've told him that you want him to lead you to the camp when you're already. 
Yes. Uh, and he's he's kind of like he's almost um, as as you're going about assessing the crates, some of you double back and, and go and find the things. He's almost like saying um, a very stoic prayer over the bodies of the fallen lizard folk. Um, those of you that speak draconic uh, and those of you that read body language well enough understand that he's almost looking at these bodies as um, as if they died for a noble cause because they their their sacrifice uh is clearly an omen that has brought you to him uh in this uh what it, it can only be described as some sort of fated meeting uh and you know he's kind of just like going along that line of attitude at the moment based off of your triple nat 20s or whatever the fuck it was <laughs> when you uh were putting on your show slash persuasion process with him previously it and was I, a necessary cost to bring your I, people into the future and I perceive hmm. uh, his body language. Do I understand that he's saying that I'm an omen? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like he's, I mean, and you all, uh, I mean, understand at this point. Like while we, while we live in a strange and magical, wonderful world, the uh, the motley crew that makes up your group um, kind of suits itself in that way. Like these is like. Like, who are these strange, massive, and, and mysterious creatures who have arrived in this fated way for Snapjaw and his people? Uh, Grah approaches Snapjaw. He wades through the muck to him. Do you understand me, lizard man? You're, you're speaking common? Yeah. I, I translate. <laughs> you're iconic. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, it's... A, a common a common description is pigeon common, you know, where someone kind of oh. speaks like really broken gestural versions of the language. He says, Snapjaw, understand. Uh, and I, Grah uses hand signals the, for like trees and water and mountains. He's oh, like, okay. In my, where I come from, my people have no honor. I come to reclaim that honor by freeing you from your oppressors. And I, instead of oppressors, I use like stupid words like uh, like bad bad man. I I free you from bad men. You are you like kind of like like gesturing and like yeah and like pantomiming your way yeah. I I hope that you're talking really really loud like you can't <laughs> <laughs> loud and slow, and slow. And slow yeah. <laughs> I help you. <laughs> Bad people. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's he's kind of he's kind of just leaning on one of his like javelins that's like stuck in in the the muck that absorbs like a good four inches of everyone's uh, f you know feet as they stand around uh, the edge of the water swamp water here, and he said, "Yeah, Snapjaw, Snapjaw, understand you." He's just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> holding his his spear. Uh, we crush bad men. <laughs> Didn't you just say that to him? Uh, I just want to reiterate. Yeah, I want to drive it <laughs> home. Just to make sure the pigeon common tongue. Is. <laughs> he's like, and you're just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> frog, body walk, kill body walk. Yeah, he's look he's looking around he's looking around uh, as you all are examining um, his cargo and says uh, Dragon Kneelers And he kind of slips back into Draconic at this point. He's finding this a bit cumbersome. And he says, Dragon Kneelers They will be expecting the first haul Perhaps we can have some time before they come inspecting. Oh yeah, I'm looting it right now. <laughs> Pan over to you, scooping it up <laughs> under your <laughs> wing. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the deets? What are we? What are we scooping out of um, these things? So, uh, despite some of the the broken content spilling out, um, how much time are you willing to take to collect every last drop of it? He said they'll be back in three hours. Yeah, uh, you Give guys you guys left in um, kind of the dead of night, I think, by the time you went down and started following um, after the after the brawl and the roadhouse. Um, I, 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 let's roughly say it's about, like, um, 
1 a.m. at this point. Yeah. Um, we'll say, yeah. We'll, so we'll give it up to the minute of when they expect us. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's, roll, roll, a d, roll a d6 for me, Krennic. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Can you tell time? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it takes every last minute of the three hours almost for you to like, oh shit, more spilled out over here, and then more spilled out over there, and then more spilled out over there. Uh, but in doing so, um, the dwarf in your party with his keen eye uh, roughly assesses that the the hoard of coins and baubles and, you know, it's the same kind of shit you've unearthed previously in your your journeys trailing these guys yeah. um but all told roughly about 2500 in gold pieces of <gasps> value uh wow. in, in this first haul i want to scoop up as much gold as i can yeah i mean i, I assumed i assumed you all uh, are collectively yeah. doing this to pull this off in the time period allotted yeah. i would ask one person in the group i got the bag of holding to uh put that just put roughly, uh, and, and just put like a line item, like 25. Well, don't put it as gold. Put it as like uh, hoard, uh, hoard stash, you know, 2,500 gold or something, because you you would have to convert that in some capacity. It's, Write okay. down magic rings and. All. Um. So that's fine. You, you do that, and, and and as as the as the time is waning on, um, you can sense Snapjaw's patience uh, is starting to fade, and he's getting into into more of a concerned state, and says, "Snapjaw can take you to other lizards. Many no, go, many may not understand that now is clearly the time to rise up." But we could try to convince them. Yeah, I no could better show time them than present. Let's do you. it. But if they find us here in the middle of the camp, could be bad. We should go. We should go. And he's like really starting to get uncomfortable lingering around with all of the, the bodies of the other lizard folk still here as well. Yeah, after you. Show us the way. Okay. Bro, um, bro was down at nine and offers him a ride. I will take that ride. Pick him up by the scruff so there are three muscle. canoes. They can each hold about three to five people, depending on how much crap you're hauling. I think with the amount of crap that you're hauling, if you're not leaving anything behind, just including it's... your gear and weapons and everything, even with your bag of holding, you all collectively have a lot of shit. Um, so, I think with that being said, you would need, you'd probably need all three canoes to comfortably uh, and safely travel through through the mirror. Yep. Um, you could squeeze arguably into two, um, but yeah, the, take the, the three. Okay. Am I am I Eggs tall basket. enough to wade through it? To wade through it? Through the bog, yeah, that bog. Uh, are you are you trying to just assess from here, from your point of view? Yeah, I, t I, I pick up a stick and I push it down into the into the water. Okay. Uh, and I pull well, it back up and examine the stick. <laughs> as you get near the shoreline, I mean, just the muck around the the water, uh, it's already like as you step down with your big heavy booted foot, like it's already going up to like your calf almost, like just that mm. of like mud, gross water, and that it's got that smell too. Um, you you think yeah sure you could wait out for a little bit but with con you know considering the the dark the darkness and the unknown ahead of you and the fact that Snapjaw has described this as a swamp uh, that's going to take you a long uh, while to float and row through. Um, he goes on to describe many many dangers within the swamp uh, and advises you to ride in the canoe. Yeah, let's go ahead and get in the canoe. Uh, Snapped. I wanted to just take us. Uh, we'll, we can start rowing where Cats. we need to go, and kind of maybe okay. fast forward a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything you all need or would like to discuss before uh, during your journeys? Uh, to... I'd like to use favorite enemy if I can for for dragons. Can I like see if I okay. can find any any? I'm I'm looking for tracks. I'm looking for like dino dino drop droppings um <laughs> anything nice. okay all right um the journey takes um a couple hours uh through the swamp um 
and as you are doing so, um, Matsuo, you're, you're kind of just looking out from time to time. You've all clearly noticed now that um, as you are moving through that most of the overhanging uh, trees in the swamp have have these um, similar to like the, the sort of um, costume jewelry that the lizard folk had upon them themselves. There's like these dangling markers almost uh, on trees and, and on certain wayward points. Um, and, and you can see Snapjaw is like looking for these as he sort of sh- sh- like just rows and turns through one part. Um, What's the order of, uh, is he in front of us? He's certainly in whatever the lead canoe is. I don't know who is with him. Um, That's me and Orc. Okay. Um, As I'm in the last canoe. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Short rest. Does this constitute as a short rest? Uh, y- yes. That's great I, news. I will. I will fantastic. absolutely. Well, you know what? Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Between the three hours you spent leisurely talking and just collecting the baubles on the ground and the ride here, I'll give you a full rest, motherfucker. Oh my god, this is going to be a hard uh, fight. You asked for this. No. The, the you asked for this. Of our DM. Look at Finny's face. Um, DM. Mean we leveled? Not going to help, motherfucker. <laughs> Not gonna help. I mean, you leveled. You just fucking leveled. Suck my dick. You're level 10. <laughs> I don't think we got. We never got to rest, did we? We no, did. we didn't. We just so came now, down we here. We just now leveled. Oh. We, we picked all our stuff. Well, you got all oh, your stuff. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But we just now got it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Vidi, I'll send you a message of something I'm doing before. Sure. Long yeah, yeah. If, if there's any uh, direct yep. messages, just use uh, Discord, please, so I can keep an eye on it. I'm, uh, Gra is going to be uh, taking his time in the back, and as we go by the markers, he's uh, going to make sure that no one sees. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Snapshot as it sees, but he pulls the markers off the trees and overhangs. You're pulling the markers down. Yeah. Okay. And I'm I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> throwing them over my shoulder into the water as I go. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Matsu, I... Matsu, yeah, roll a roll a perception check for me as you okay. you're kind of like actively scanning the swamp. Like you feel like you've heard rumors before. Uh, of, of dragon activity in in the Sword Coast regions in, in the Mirror of Dead Men, but you don't know if they were just rumors, and you're kind of kind of browsing around. Um, you don't really notice much that would indicate uh, you know any signs of a dragon, at least not through this part of the mirror. Um, but you do at times see signs of like very very large. Uh, like some either crocodiles or alligators. I don't. Know, I can't think which one's which for a swamp, but uh, one of them, one of them, one of them's types. And you see distant lights at times um, that you're not sure what they are. Like you know, you, there's something that seems uh, strange about them. Like definitely not torches, but just very distant floating lights, uh, kind of dancing uh, over some of the reeds and, and like off in the darkness. And sometimes they're so close to the horizon that you think that maybe they're just some far off star, but then you kind of see the movement and you're. You're not sure. You've never seen anything quite like it. Has anyone seen anything quite like that? And point. And I. And I point. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, you. You all, other than Matsuo, who spotted it and has no idea, could make it an Arcana check if you like. Ooh, you just get to. I'll make that Arcana check. Yeah. I'm not proficient. I don't know magic. Whoa. Oh. But do I get to? Mi- all right, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, uh, I put our heads together. Oric, yeah. and, and Elf. Are you are you reverting to your proper names now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll just go ahead and you can just. Oh, I forgot why you guys changed your names, and now I re- just remembered. Oh, here you go. Here you go. I'll, I'll do you a solid uh, grub because I copied and pasted yours you. in into oh, your notes. The rest yeah. of you can just type it at yourself in your character sheet. The rest can suck. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, one second, friends. Think of anything else you might be doing during this slow, almost relaxing uh, boat ride in, in, through the through the dark of night in, in the Mirror of Dead Men here while I load a few things. I want to I want to talk to Cat. Hey, Noin, I whisper <laughs> over, I turn my head and I whisper over to him. Hey, <laughs> uh, what do you think of, uh, is Matsu in the boat? You're in the middle, right? I, I think I'm in the middle. Okay, what do you think of this turtle? I think he's got a pretty shysty background. He keeps trying to thieve everything. He sucks at it. So, 
Let me tell you something, Gra. He has put us out about seven grand <laughs> from his stupid shenanigans. I don't know how much that is, but from the tone of your voice, I surmise that's quite a bit. I think that uh, maybe if you, you know, wrangle him by the throat every now and again. Um, Auric, uh, yeah. nine, you, like, as you guys are looking, like, nine kind of points it out and says, like, is that, uh, and, you know, like, with, with a knowing look in his eye, you both look at each other and kind of, like, whisper the words, Willow Wisps? And you know that these are, are, are undead, evil, uh, little tiny glowing balls of, of fucking death, essentially. Um, they're malevolent. Uh, they tend to haunt lonely places or very historied places like battlefields or, or regions that are sort of bound up in these dark, magical fates. Uh, it, it, they tend to feed uh, on fear and despair. Uh, and their very presence here um, is not a good omen, uh, to you, with, with either of you, uh, nine for more of the stories you know, and, yep. and Auric, more of your, uh, holy background, like, all of, all of, all of the fucking bones in your body are kind of, like, chilled. You can tell that these things are very far off, um, and, and not currently posing any danger to you, uh, but not great. Could uh, w would Oric with that natural twenty have yeah. any idea if uh, some of the his new beautiful wonderful <laughs> holy powers of wonder would be effective against uh, a target like this? Oh, um, yes. Uh, well, you 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 do know that um, the very um, formation of these beings called called wisps willow wisps um is is a very necrotic sort of thing and you by all accounts would consider them to be a type of undead uh what i know like because i believe there's probably a level rating <laughs> uh -huh. how effective it is since that was a natural 20 what no. Go ahead of its time. Okay. No, no, fuck off. You, you have never, ever, oh, ever. Level three. You've never even had those abilities before, <laughs> let alone tried them on Fair a thing enough. in in Fair in enough. field combat. I've read books, but I don't know. I have to try something. Hey, Krennic. Or did you what? just say wisp? What? Don't worry about it, Tortle. What's a wisp? Just don't touch uh, them, Tortle. Krennic. Krennic. Don't try to steal them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I I pass. Krennic, uh, a glass vial, and I say, this? here, use this on anybody who's hurt really bad, okay? Oh, All yeah. right. Is it like an ointment? No, you just smash it on them. Just smash it in their face. I, can, can I, oh yeah, sorry. Should sorry. I pour it out on them? Hmm. Do I pour it on the wounds? Uh-oh. Do I put it in the mouth? He's, uh, he's contemplating. Uh, and the two of you yeah. continue to examine the vial for a moment. Um, uh, is it a suppository? Yeah. What's it smell like? <laughs> nine. Yes. Yes. I got coxed. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Nine. Ah. Sorry. What are you saying, Nine? Can I ask Slackjaw? Uh, so what's his name? Slackjaw? Is that right? Snapjaw. Snapjaw. Snap, Snapjaw. But you can call him Slackjaw. <laughs> Slackjaw is what they call zombies in the goon. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Snapjaw. Uh, Snapjaw, where are you taking us? What? Where is this place, and why are we going by all these these willows? Snapchat, take you good way. Don't go near the lights. You can you can tell that they are like hundreds and hundreds of feet away. Uh, he says, ah, the lights can see very far in the dark. We do not get close, or they come and they feed. We go, we go safe way. And you you can tell that he's you know true to his words. The lights are like. You know that's why they are so confusing. They're very distant. Nine, you, you would know, um, you know, the way he's describing it and, and what you've assessed here that uh, it's likely that they have some kind of like very powerful dark vision, uh, and so you you take him at his word and your and your guts and can tell that you don't want to get too close to oh, yeah, these lights. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm on it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> would. Anybody in our party have noticed, maybe passively, if Gra was doing anything? Uh, yeah, uh, I think considering everyone's scanning around, um, 
Why don't you all make a perception check? Yeah, the only the only thing I wanted to do is make sure that the snapshot didn't see me doing it. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. oh you see. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. After after your eyes like kind of pulled oh back and God. and settled back from like that uh I just stared at a light bulb kind of glow, you see like a you see like the silhouette of Gra behind you kind of like almost tipping the canoe at times like reaching up and trying to like <laughs> <laughs> And like throwing stuff behind him, uh, and it's it's not uh, too much of a leap of of logic to realize that he's tearing down some of the markers that are guiding your way from the camp, uh, uh, uh into the into the swamp. Uh, are we are our canoes like close together? Because Krennic and I are in the same canoe. With, they are uh, they uh, are they are not um super uh close together, um. Uh, but you know, like you're you're all relatively close. I mean, like trying to keep perfect pace uh, as you snake through some some. I don't know if you've ever been like in a small boat trying to go through like uh, the wetlands or like uh, uh, you know you know like that, like where you're like crabbing or something. But it's it's tough it's tough going at times, especially in the dark with only the moonlight uh, guiding you. So um, you're all relatively close, uh, but none of you are ultra close together. I tell Krennic what I saw, but I kind of whisper it so Snapdog can't hear. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we should do anything? Do you think that's a bad idea? If, uh, about Gra what? Graal's ripping down all the, the ways back, and oh. if we're in a swamp of evil undead things, that I'm not sure how we're going to come back if we need Wait. to come back. Undead things? Uh, oh, yeah, about what? that. <laughs> Don't go near the glowy lights. What? <laughs> What glowy lights? I look uh, around uh, for glowy lights. Are they glowy lights? Well, think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, oh, can kind of spot lights? them now. You can you can spot Matsu them now. Yeah. Pulls out his sword and, and just points towards the glowy lights. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Don't but it comes out in bird, so it's like. Kaka! <laughs> <laughs> those are undead. Uh, Snapjaw. What? Are those dangerous? It just oh, said I, yes. yes. Oh. Shit. Shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. catching up. He kind of, he kind of, he kind of <laughs> recaps the, uh, yeah, and like, you know, reiterates, yes, they're they are, they're definitely dangerous. They'll kill all of us. Uh, Except you who can fly away. <laughs> I think, uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay, I, let's I, keep going then. Okay. Yep. La last question about them. From yeah. the shoreline, how, how many hundreds of feet out are they? From the shoreline? I mean, you guys are fucking out in the middle of, we, who knows, we there, there is no shoreline anymore. We're deep, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I was just looking, I was looking at the map that you. Nah, nah, saw. that's not real. Uh, okay, okay. Hey. All right, bye, Willows. Okay. Um. Sorry, one second. I'm I'm making I'm making a thing real quick. Oh shit! You're I closed all that dead. map. Is that going to be important? Nah, I can always push it back if something happens. There's a big um, pizza in the middle. And uh, there's three boats. Let's see. I okay. Like I All right. So, uh, kind of like uh, what we see in the, in the poster there. Um, you eventually uh, pull up on uh, this old uh, castle, uh, encroached on all sides by, um, you know, clearly it's been overgrown by the swamp life, and it's almost like been bogged down and flooded out many times over. Um, but all around it are a variety of structures surrounding the castle and its outskirts. Um, it looks active, um, but in, uh, poor conditions at best. Um... And this is this is way 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 off, but you can you can see enough of this in in the distant moonlight at this point. Um, you approach, uh, and Snapjaw says, "Must be careful now. Many many lizards and bullywogs inhabit the grounds up ahead." Would, would you say we should be very stealthy, quiet? Yes. Hmm. Matsu. Yes. Matsu. As if we had a shroud. Hi. Hey, turtle, turtle. Hi, 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 hi. Can you do that thing where we get really mm. quiet? I don't Her know. I, I don't even know what that is, but I feel um, like it can be important. Maybe. That's not helpful. Grog comes stomping maybe? up in his chainmail. Shink, 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 shink. 
Uh, hey guys, uh, what you talking before about? Before anyone can I... say anything, I, I just go ahead and, and I use um, in your boat. <laughs> pa pa pass without trace. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and use that in my boat. Just kidding. I'm taking it back. You just saved my life. We're still in the boat. I thought oh, we were in the castle. Boat? You you are still in the boat. You are here. Let me let me let me give you a more okay. accurate image here. One second. I thought we had we had just pulled. Yeah, up I thought we. The... That's what I thought. Too. No, no, you were you were in the boat. The 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 mirror in the water is snaking up towards the castle, which is quite far off in the distance. Rod does not stomp up up to you. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say I don't know how you're stomping in your boat. I I'm cut sorry. off and I can't um, say hi. You know. To be honest, I was just trying to be snarky to, I don't know, be snarky, but yes, I can indeed use stealthiness for all of us, if that's what we want to do. I think it's probably a good idea. Snapjaw knows this area best. Yeah. Yes, you income poop, of course it's the right <laughs> idea. <laughs> Let's do it. I, am Let's, interesting time. I mean, I am, I am here to help at this point, so let's just go ahead and do it. Cool. You uh, still have quite the debt to pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. cat. What's this word mean? Growing. Stealthy. M Matsu does the hand motion for there's nothing in my pockets. Oh, where is this? Nothing there. <laughs> you don't even have pockets. It's just yeah, the side of like, your shell. He's doing it anyway. It's like my turtle shell. He's like looking around for something of value. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hold up your money bags. Oh, speaking of what? Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just. Right. Ooh, something's loading. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're Thanks. gonna need you're gonna need a minute for that one. God damn it! Oh, my surface, man, this is gonna be tough. Oh no, I'm sorry. Damn it, you can eat it. Eat it up, surface. <laughs> Hope you're hungry. Hold. Ooh. Surface is gonna overheat. Better be Ooh. careful. Runtime error. That happened. Oh, mine did too. My whole fantasy. All right, let it let it just say, just let it wait. It'll 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 do it. It'll do it. I believe. I believe. Oh, I believe too. But wait. I think it was me. I I tried to. Uh... Mine mine's loaded. Oh okay. Oh, there good. we go. I see some stuff. Nice. Also, I'm preparing spells for you, just so you know. Okay. That's cool. I'm preparing things too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like spells. <laughs> <laughs> Death and stuff? That's what we waited for? <laughs> oh, I don't think it's... I think there's gonna be more to it than what meets the eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you need more? <laughs> I, don't know if you, I don't know if you know where I'm going with that. I just saw a couple of grits, but apparently there's a shitload of bad guys and encounters in this map. Nah, oh, man, man, you good. <laughs> Better be careful. Fiddy might be in a mood to kill our party. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long, a been long, long week, just, dog. He just gave us a long rest. You know this is going to be like death. Instant death. There is a dragon. It lands on you. You're crushed. <sighs> <sighs> Whatever I mean, happened I... to that blue dragon? The one with the one eye poked at. Yeah. I don't know. But also, isn't our ranger dispensing all the dragon things? He perceived to He's certainly spoil. trying, yeah. I, I keep okay. trying to. I'm sure once we get close enough, I'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> when it's an eye shot. <laughs> Found yeah, it! That's a dragon! <laughs> there it is! Are you oh, my pushing more things right now? I am, sorry. sorry. Okay, my fantasy grounds is, uh... Oh, it's back. Yeah. Almost back. Okay. Uh, it, let me know when... If anyone's not loaded up yet. I see it. The Mine's shadow like quality is better. Loaded. No, Mine's... that's the darkness, man. Okay. Oh, that's uh, yeah. The darkness? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's dark out. Cool. All right. So, Snapjaw kind of pulls the canoes up um, slyly near this landing, um, which, you know, like, approximately where you all are up here into this, like, this little, this little inlet, if you will, uh, and, and banks the canoes right there and says, we must be... Must be careful now. Yes. And then he, he kind of points to the north. And to the north, you see these these small little huts. Uh, and you can kind of you can kind of pan uh, or zoom out, but I'll I'll do this for you. Um, and uh, it says, uh, uh, "Domain of the 
frogs. Yeah. And he kind of just like points up to that that northeast group uh, of of structures like up here. He says, "Uh, yeah, lizards, lizards built good structures." And he points like a lot further east uh, in front of the landing of the castle and to the southeast where you see a pen and some other uh, more uh, longhouse-like buildings. Um, it says, uh, castle, very guarded, very guarded by lizards and other frogs. Humans hide inside dragon needles. Uh, not sure what we do, but the signs, we've seen the signs. And he's like looking at all of you. Surely you have great plan for Snapchat. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I group huddle everyone together. <laughs> Snapjaw, you will be the lizard king. Hmm. We kill frogs, send yeah. humans running, take back castle. Great black dragons will look upon lizard folk with pride then, yes! Yes! Oi! 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 Hey! Take it easy, take it easy. Oh, yeah, we should keep it down, keep it down. Many... Capture. I need many, you to Many sleep, many sleep, but this. many... Look at this, I many, my finger many patrols do all hours of the night, yes! And he's kind of just like gesturing, and you can you can kind of see like uh, to the frog campment. You see lots of silhouettes. You see some near the lizards. You see what is clearly some sort of like large animal stockade to the straight south. Um, clearly, if there was ever any kind of gates leading across uh, into the into the keep. Uh, it's long fucking gone, um, but you do you do sense and see some activity near um, this outcropping penis-like shape uh, on the outskirts of the <laughs> castle right there. Draw it on the map. Yeah. Map yeah. jaw. Yeah, right, right around there. Uh, Orik. Yeah. Step aside with me, if you will. Are we still in the boats? No, you, you've pulled into this little inlet and kind of, um, uh, you know, going up onto the banks here. But Snapjaw, we need to recruit your fellow lizards before we assault the Bullywood Castle. Yes, we we can try. We can try. Some, some happy serving these dragon kneelers. Bollywog's bossin push us around. Snapjaw. Snapjaw, Ooh. speak to some. Some like Snapjaw don't want any of this. Ooh. Am I a side translate right for right bra? Now? Mm, mm -hmm. Ooh, biggest mm. polywog. Hard to translate. Mm. Perhaps since I saved your life in our last encounter, you may maybe I have gained your trust a little bit. Well, oh, that's translate. quite a leap. Not, uh, draconic. <laughs> but what are you thinking? I think that this lizard that we are with perhaps may cause more problem than. Resolve. Huh. What language are you? What language are you speaking? Uh, he put, he's having an aside. We're having an aside. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, with who? Who's 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 on the side? Oh, okay. <laughs> Always who's, wanted to what, say that. What do you think? Who's not on the side? Oh. Wait, wait no. Um, he's with me. He's on my shoulder. I mean, I suppose the real question is, what do we want out of this whole thing? I come over to you guys. I think what we should do is get the lizards to fight the bullywogs. Why do you not you, want you this? left us like you're you're over with them now. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not want this? <laughs> no, I think you're right. I see. Um I'm just what's in the castle? What what are we actually doing here? Oh, the bullywogs are in the castle. They're the ones that are working with the dragon cultists. So are the cultists here? No. Do you perhaps, know that? Perhaps no. we take some of us. Uh, each I mean, by by, by all by all accounts, dealers. Snapjaw has described both uh, yeah. both bollywogs and humans, with the humans being the top of the food chain within the castle. And, so I thought they were and lizard folk living in the human castle. Bo both, both, uh, and and both lizard folk okay. and bullywogs, uh, as well, being sort of like the underlings. 
Right, right, okay. Oh, but yeah. the, at the bottom, if we have more people fighting on our side, it helps. It does, certainly does not hurt. I, what I, if I we think you're right. a squad to assassinate the leader of, oh, of yes. the, the Belwag as and... we started a resistance? Oh, oh I've yes, heard of this. but as we do that, we have a frontline assault. Yeah, that way... I was going to say a distraction. Yes, yeah, distraction. Yeah. I've heard yes. of this. It's, they call this a uh, the sixth seal team. <laughs> yes, the, the team of the sixth seal. Yes, sixth that's what seal. it was. Oh yeah, a legend in my box. I always thought it was seal? seventh seal. Is that the point? <laughs> no, you break the seventh seal. <laughs> oh, the seventh seal. That's the one you break. Okay. It's we only had five people seals where I've said that before. <laughs> Gra, you're gonna earn more seals where we are today. Oh, I love, I love seals. Okay. They taste great. Let's so, go rile up the troops. Brass tacks, uh, fucking gut reaction, your characters assessing the number of buildings in this place and the size of this place um, without doing any investigating as of yet. Uh, you would assess, now that you know that Snapjaw has described the different uh, who whose construction style is these more rounded huts versus like the much more well-constructed long houses. But between the two, in terms of number of buildings, you would guess, at least anyone who's, you know, like in your line of uh, profession or travels, that there are probably easily anywhere from about 60 to 100 of each race, lizard and, and frog. Wow. Um, based on the number of buildings and their sizes, just on the outskirts of the castle alone. Okay. Did uh, Snapjar ever get back to me about the the biggest polywog? Absolutely. He he says the name he's already mentioned to you before. Farblex Spatagu destroyed our shaman and left us leaderless. But Snapjar still finds lizards who are ready to fight. Okay. Who is the uh, the leader of the Dragon Kneelers? Oh, Dragon Kneelers. Snapjaw, no. Two, two, though one, one not here very often. Arrived recently again. Resmir, the, the half-black oh, dragon, is, is in the castle. Bitch. But he confers with, with Born Grey. Born Grey, yes. Born Grey. Um, okay. Gosh, I want to I want to share my image because when I hear the oh, word shit. Resmir, yeah, the eye that looked at me through the hole the hits me real hard. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And I, oh here I have it right here. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I can I can share it if you're describing it to them. Resmir's like a like a dragon person, Sean, that we're trying to find. Hmm. Like a half uh, dragon. This one. Oh, what the hell? Where's my uh? Uh, yeah, yeah that that one, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, just, yeah. It's like the Eye of Sauron. Yeah. Oh, you were chest. traumatized by it? Oh, dude. <laughs> I just remember it because of how <laughs> powerful okay. he is. Being in his yeah. presence was interesting. I think shit just. Okay. Uh, he but goes he on to describe Born Gray as um, this elf who is sort of like uh, the keeper of the castle, like the leader when Resmir's not around, essentially. Okay. Is it okay. bone gray or born? Born, gray? born, born gray. But what you just you just made it worse. Is it bone gray or <laughs> born, born gray? Born okay. born gray. <laughs> oh, say it in an accent. It's born gray. Born gray. Wait. J Orn. Uh. Okay. So, uh, nine. I think we need you <laughs> and your magical ability to have a booming voice. We we go to the town, the village hut square, and we round up all of the lizard folk. We put on a show with fireworks and fire and smoke monsters, and we and we Is tell them their day is oh, come. This guy. And we get them to gather their weapons up to fight to storm the castle. Well, wait, I just I I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> <for that. laughs> However, um, I do have a question about this. Yeah. Uh, so just, I hate to be the the you know, cold water here on yeah, the fire. Yeah, splash it. 
Um, our what's our objective here? With okay, for, from this our is what no 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 from yeah. from our orders like our, right. our orders from our halls. We are trying to find the yeah. contraband, and we found it. Yeah, and we were we hired to deliver these crates. And what else were we supposed to do? Learn Maybe of their plans. Learn of its learn of its final destination and and what their plans were for it. Basically, to verify if it was in fact a a classic cult of the dragon plot sure. to to convert and raise or um, perform a ritual for a Draco Lich, or if it was something else altogether. And it is clear to me that this castle is the final destination. So, if it's the final destination and we're looking at. Well, look at the camp. It's pretty big, right? Yeah. And sure, we could probably create an uprising. Yeah. Um, to what end are we trying to kill this? We Born have the Grey and Resmir. Yes. We are just. Yes. Just us. And I hold up my hand. High five. Orik just is like, uh, so. Okay. <laughs> is that not what we do? Concerned. Um, <laughs> I mean, we but could. Zama, we could. We've done so many things that would be concerning of my parents. This, but... this is the chance we have to stop Resmir. Yeah, Gra, Gra at the, at the, hear, hearing the word Resmir is like, oh, I've got something. I got to give to him, and I, I take out my sword and I, and I start caressing it. I see you guys. Does uh, Matsu have a uh, line of sight of the, the <laughs> castle right now? I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, there's, there's. It's not, it's not overly foggy or anything at this point. Like you can, you can see the size and scope of the castle. It's, it's exactly as you see in that poster I, I threw out there. Okay. Um, Matsu uh, looks towards the castle and wants to see if he can <laughs> see any dragons again. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of what dragons again? Sea dragons. Oh, sea. No, you're 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 sure at this point that yeah, there's, there's no th dragons here. <laughs> oh. You just see this guy. Well, yeah. Guys, I don't usually bring this up much often anymore, but uh, rule number thirteen, the old switcheroo. Why don't why don't we get in the boxes and have them deliver us right to Resmir and then <laughs> surprise? I think we stand a better chance with an uprising. Uh, what if they don't give us straight to Resmir and they just put us in a uh, basement? Or what if they <laughs> like open us up in the courtyard and there's like 50 guards all around? Yeah, I know. Would I be able just... to restore my honor if I went on a mission in a box? <laughs> You're gonna sacrifice no. yourself. <laughs> yeah. uh, Actually, no. <laughs> I think Warwick so. No. Looks over at nine, like, I mean, I, mean I think you would be better if you just strapped yourself to Gra's back as armor. If if you're going to just sacrifice yourself. <laughs> but I mean, after decapitating all of those lizards, I feel like I have more use than just being a shell. He is good at killing lizards. I've seen him do it. Now we don't want to kill lizards this time. I don't think. You think you could do that to frogs? My point is, I can kill. <laughs> We are aware. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's have let's have old Snapjaw introduce us to his people, perhaps his chieftain, and then we'll inspire them to go attack the frogs and we'll kill the How leader. About, what do you think that um, he could convince them to come to us? Wouldn't it be less risky if we tried to sneak in? No. I don't think that's possible. Snap, are you Maybe. asking him? If he, um, if he thinks we're gods... I'm saying yeah. it loud enough where yeah. I think everybody... We're having a discussion at this point. Snapjaw has a few trusted allies who want the same thing. I can't yeah, do this voice it. all night. Uh, and it, and he, uh, he, he says he can bring them to you if you promise to, um, you know, uh, not not provoke them, they might be a little sensitive at first. Of, Ma of course. Ma Matsu, do you know... You You look like you belong in a swamp. Do you know these people? Um, I say racistly. So, out of character, real quick, what is a good, like, 
how would I know if I know or not? Ask the DM. You would ask me. Pick it up, man. Like you know, think okay. think of it, think think of like an actor reading your lines on on set, right? If you don't if you don't know a thing, um, you can just say like, okay, what's how would my character react to this, or like would or, would know? would Matsu know about this stuff? That's yeah, a good okay. way to that's a good way to frame things if you're ever unsure. What does Matsu know about this? About the what? The, the lizard uh, folk. The the lizard. Yeah. The the living in the, a swamp. What did you say again? Be specific asked, asked, is the if you main lived idea. In a swamp, or if you knew anything about these swamp people. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, um, it's not uncommon for um, places like this, bogs, mirrors, um, for lizard folk and and bollywogs and even turtles and things to uh, inhabit and and live in regions such as this. Um, I mean, is there anything? Is there anything more specific that you want to know? Um, Just approach it narratively. How about this? I'll help you out. Oi! That you say you you know these you know these lands. You're familiar with them. Uh, so you, Matsu puts his hand into the into the sand. <laughs> Or the is it a beach? Muck, muck into the muck. It's muck, yeah, yeah muck. But as but as if it were sand, and and he's he's holding it in his <laughs> hand, and and he kind of like pushes it in his hand, and, and it reminds him of his childhood, and how his mother was taken away from him at a very young age, <gasps> and murdered in front of his very eyes, and and he looks to Gra and says. I know a thing or two about swamps. About, about what? Swamps? swamps? Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps, since you wouldn't stick out here, maybe you could go as a sign of good faith with Snapjaw so that they what, bring uh, the leader back. What, uh, what sort of gear is everyone rocking these days in terms of attire, garb? It's changed so much between the road trip and the road house and... Etc. Etc. What specifically does everyone look like right now? I think I'm in chainmail. I'm loud as fuck, and it's probably got muck in it. Mhm. Mm so maybe Burn it's a... not as loud as fuck. Yeah. And robes. Cloak yeah. of, of elven kind is what I'm rocking. That that royale. The purple. I'm, I'm not disguised at the moment, but um. Okay. But I, I, how far away from me, proximity-wise, are we from this thing? From the, the nearest camp? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, uh, Snapjaw's basically used uh, the reeds and the brush and everything around the shoreline here, which is kind of blocking mm -hmm. you from view from the Bullywogs yeah. camp. Uh, and then you see him kind of gesturing uh, towards the, the longhouses past the animal pens or some kind of pens. Uh, to the southeast, where he says he could find and and wake up uh, a few potential uh, lizard allies. That's where we want to go. Hey, um, yep. Snapjaw, Snapjaw. Um, I've got an idea, but I'm curious. Do um do the lizard folk walk, and like, are they in? I know they're not. They don't sleep in the same camp as the Bollywogs. Is it normal to see? lizard folk in their camp or is their camp exclusive to just oh you mean like walks? lizard lizard folk within the bollywall camp yeah like doing chores oh yeah and no activities uh and... well yeah no yeah, yeah like uh he describes uh, a social structure at the castle where the bollywogs are kind of like inner circle uh and the lizard folk are kind of um they they do a lot of yeah exactly and and he says there are there is a group of elite lizard folk uh that born gray keeps very close inside the castle um same with th same with spatter goo the the head bullywog he described him and some elite groups all all inhabit the castle along with born gray and the other humans the dragon kneelers um, I mean, while in, in the time that you've spent kind of discussing things over here too uh it's clear that there are active patrol routes kind of going uh, around the outskirts of the castle and through the two distinct little villages if you will um, but nothing extreme 
And um, there are certainly people near where he described as like the only real entrance into the castle over to that east over there. Okay, I've got two thoughts and then we can do everything. Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, you take all the time you need uh, cool. collectively. We can do one of two things. Um, I say we can either ambush the castle directly. Perhaps there is a secret way into the castle we could ask or try to find out. Or we could start a massive conflict on the outside. Yeah. Um, have the lizard folk do like a uh, get inside very quietly. Yeah. There's a whole bunch doing chores During and the shit. conflict, I could uh, also turn us invisible. Take us right out. It's um, definitely not invisibility. It just helps you oh, move quietly. Never mind. But Gross and Treat, he's like, invisible, huh? <laughs> They wouldn't be able to see us. That's Basically, true. if we can get within the, if we can get a lot of people within the castle that are in with the idea, um, we can ambush them unexpectedly and have a pretty huge advantage. I, where my thoughts are at. Um, following up on your inquiries with with Snapjaw about the the cast system here, um, you know, a better way to describe his response after you kind of you know, it's translated and you haven't spoken draconic at, at, in this in depth in a while. Um, but he basically says like the lizard folk are the ones that wear all the hats, right? Like they, they fucking, they're the laborers are the ones that have to port all of the equipment from the roadhouse. They have to tend to the giant lizards that are in the pen that they use as like sort of their, uh, their, uh, worker animals instead of like draft horses or something. Um, they have to do all of the hunting and gathering, the scouting, they're the outer guards that's uh perfect. you know that that be, you know that being said like you know he did describe that elite group that's within the the castle uh click uh he says the bollywogs are just like the interior guards they don't know how to appreciate anything that kind of that kind of line of uh well you know social structure it's good that you're everywhere because you're invisible that way so if we can place key people in strategic locations we have a great advantage in terms of an ambush i would like to go talk to recruit some more as well. i would like to go speak with some okay friends. uh snapjaw is uh, gesturing and, and, and kind of like you know waiting for the right opportunity anyone that wants to go with him uh he's kind of waiting for a moment and kind of signaling come come we can say, speak with allies i turn and say hey just, you look, just he kind of like he looks back at you, Nine, as you are, as you're pausing there for a moment, says, and he kind of eye eyeing you all up. He says, many of them, many strange visitors come. Uh, the cultists themselves, or, or allies of the cultists, very unlikely they will attack on sight, given your attire. Yeah. I, I pat Nine, and I, I mm. walk with him, almost for him. I need water so bad, but keep talking about what you want to do, and then we'll do it. I'm imagining you're controlling me like Ratatouille right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. Well, I want to put a disguise on that makes me look like one of these snake people, because I want. I know that these guys are touchy, and I want to come off and make the conversation as possible for them. Okay. Um. How would you describe such a, a disguise? I have a muzzle. Mm -hmm. I'd like to elongate it a little bit more to be more lizard-like. I'd like to keep some of my color in my face and my fur, Ooh, yeah. or what's what's there. Yeah, so yeah. Like, like, kinda even kinda even using like the scars as like an, an enhancement for such a disguise. Oh, I forgot and you're fucked up. With my hood on. This is very Disney Disney's uh, animated Robin Hood right now. Yeah. <laughs> The beak, with the beak, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like a, it's a... And it's dark out. It's fucking dark as hell. But I just okay. want to put, just keep them at ease better, or more. Do you have a All pirate right. theme song going? Alright, nine, nine kind of like, with his cloak auto-magically billowing behind him, he turns around looking back at all of you, and for a moment you all can't even tell it's him. He's... You know, the silhouette, the shapes, the proportions are just right that in this light, you know, with, under the hood, he seems to be of a similar uh, image as, as Snapjaw. Ra notices this and he does a pirouette and a spin.
and he too turns into a giant lizard man. But it's a crocodile, not an alligator. Like a plus one. It's, it's amazing. You know what's also amazing is I just moused over your token and it says all of the things when you do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, I don't see us anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just gotta pan around, dog. Big map. Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, so who's going with Snapjaw and who is not going with Snapjaw? Work is staying behind. Okay. I'll, I'll stay I want to go with Nine as a big alligator man. Ken's going. So Wait. Snapchat is going to to re, uh, recruit people, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we need someone to speak Draconic? Oh. I, I speak Shh. Draconic. Oh, okay. you do? Okay. All right. Go for it, Nine. We believe in you. I barely speak. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with regular <laughs> just in case. Okay. Wait, Bert. Nine. Do you need fireworks? <gasps> yep. Maybe. Okay, yeah. I'll go with you. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I always need some good, uh, someone to bounce good material hey, off of. Grim, Grimla, Grimla, Grimla looks, Grimla looks at Oric and is just like, I mean, I, I thought Every, they were bringing, I, I thought they were coming back to us to have we a are, meeting. We are, we are, we were going to come back to you. Uh, are you? Because everyone's left. <laughs> 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 we'll be back, Oric. <laughs> so wait, what? So it's two lizard people, Snapjaw, a bird, and a turtle. Mm hmm. Alright. Seriously, is everyone <laughs> going? We're all going? Uh, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna step back again. Okay. Backwards. I, I, maybe I, t- can have a, I say, Toto, I saw how good you were at killing things. I may oh. need you to protect Orc. While he, oh. is doing, while he is doing his no, while he is doing his work. You are correct. Work. I mean, he did get quite pummeled last time. And... I don't even remember that, but <laughs> I don't remember what you were saying. He looked great to me. But <laughs> he needs to be at his best, focusing on whatever it is he is creating for us. Can I perceive if Nine is lying? No. Let's move this ahead. Let's move this along. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> Fine. Uh, there is there is definitely some truth in that. Oh. <laughs> Work got his ass handed to him. Uh, Krennic, you you stand between the two groups. Um, are you? Yeah, no, I go with nine. I okay. go with nine. Okay. You know, All right. It's like three alligators and a bird, right? Snapjaw, um, cautiously and and yeah, fairly fairly skillfully guides you past any patrols, uh, to this uh, line of bushes, uh, uh between, uh what he's described as an animal pen and you now know is a stockade uh filled with gigantic lizards um that they use for mounts or um you know work animals and such uh and they're very active at this time of night uh, he's like, right, don't worry don't worry you wait here allow snapjaw to bring forward some friends yes uh, Does Grom yeah. recognize the lizards as, as, like, groin-type animals? No, that would be drakes. These are, in fact, just giant lizards. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Out of out of game, did you make it so that the character's pace is very slow like that? Yes. Oh, you mean as I move them along there? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Awesome. I, I, I animated yeah. them, dog. Dig it. Damn. Shit. Okay, so uh, you three are waiting here and allowing Snapjaw to go into the yeah. tents. Yes? Yes? Yes. Uh, and he does. He uh, he kind of cautiously moves to the first longhouse. Um, and you can see that these, from this point, you can, you can clearly see the construction. And it's actually quite... It's kind of quite ingenious the the technique that they've used the way they've they've kind of like bent these reeds like a rib and sort of stretched like you know he's true to his word like these are well constructed very intelligently um, built buildings I mean simple in materials and all that um, but um, the, the the ribs with la- thatched lattices across them from the reeds um, each of these longhouses has like this single woven doorway in the center at, at the end you know at the end each end here um and uh he kind of like looks back and you can see him step inside uh, and hear him start to talk like Psh. um and he does so and about uh five minutes or so pass 
uh, and Snapjaw emerges and goes into another tent. And he disappears again for another five minutes. And then he emerges again. And then he uh, at last heads to what appears to be the last sort of longhouse here on the south side. Um, and then emerges again about five minutes later. Uh, you see him slowly kind of walking back uh, and kind of meandering his way towards you very cautiously. And he once more um, walks into the cover of, of the tall uh, brush and trees and reeds uh, that sort of uh, bisect this group from, from the Bullywogs in the main path to the north. He says, uh, he says, I've spoken to a few friends. Many, in fact, have heard my tale of the great heroes who have arrived to spark the reeds that will ignite yeah. our war against the Bullywogs, if you are ready. Yeah, We're with ready. Their, with their help, we may be able to rally more, but know this, not all lizard folk would be willing to be at odds with the dragon kneelers and the Bullywogs. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere, dude. <laughs> they live in big batches. <laughs> uh, 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 what's your we, name? Snapjaw, we, we need you to recruit as many of your friends as possible. Uh, what it, what you should risk even going for the ones that are on the fence. Mm. And by that he means questioning <laughs> their allegiance. Yes. Snapjaw looks at you and says, "We could do this, but there is risk because yeah, if they much. are not with us, we we don't know." I, I've only he basically says he's only spoken to people he absolutely thinks he can trust, which is okay. about six people in in these tents for now. Um, out of a hundred. Okay. Not we we could, could it... we could speak to more, um, but the more we involve, the more risk we run of betrayal is essentially what I, it, it translates to. I have one more question. Uh, is, is of the six that you have requested the help or assistance, mm, mm. could they request their closest ally or the person that they trust the most? So that we do not expand too quickly, and we keep people that are pretty tight in our inner circle. Hmm. That's a good idea, Nine. We could try to build an alliance as big as possible, but many, including the trustworthy ones, will not act until we give them some sort of sign or action that they can move against. Oh. Right, so it's right. a sign. A distraction. We are very good at doing plays. At the at the <laughs> word distraction, Grab breathes really deep and he goes, Guys, remember that time when a stalagmite ate me and we had the opportunity to release all these hounds? And it would have made a great distraction, but we didn't do it. And I stole the lock and key. I was ready to go. <laughs> Look at this pen full of fucking giant lizards. Let's just tip the fucking fence over. Distraction. It'll be a stampede of lizards. The the stockade that Graz gesturing towards appears to be a sturdy, again, very well-made stockade, uh, made from sturdy logs that appear to be just driven hard down into the earth, the muck, whatever. Um, the pillars are, are, are log-like and spaced about six inches apart. Uh, they seem to be bound together with some kind of twisted fiber, uh, imitating like you know rope or or, or something of the like. Um, you can see numerous lizard-like forms kind of traipsing about inside. They're clearly active this time of day uh, under the under the light of the moon. Bro examines like the the entrances, like the gates. Where are they made out of? I I I say I have two things to say to that. 
uh, <laughs> to what Gra was saying earlier. Um, I think, firstly, I think we need to inform Auric about wh uh, what we're going to be doing before we make any distraction plans. Secondly, I think t I still think that it would be better to have the most trustworthy people, well, quality over quantity, like. The quality quality cup versus the quantity cups. Everybody knows this tale. It's uh -huh. a kid's yep. tale from all around. I just have mm. this evil song playing in my head, and I feel like I need yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rob wrestles with himself. Um. Uh, I mean, as far as the gate, I mean, it's just like the walls, except it's like, you know, it's like a fucking any kind of animal stockade, you know, just made out of different materials, like, it's clearly, like, latched and bolted in some way that you could open and pull open. It's not like a, like a traditional lock and key, it's just like a, like a, like a wooden... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think of, like, a farm or something, you know, where you Perhaps... just, like, lift the thing in. Perhaps we should go tell the others about this and recruit, as Nine said, and then release the hounds as yeah. a distraction yes and build the bully walks i think this is a great idea okay right yeah this is a perfect plan um, as, it as, cannot as go you wrong. <laughs> as you have gotten close uh and and snapshot is kind of like pointing some things out to you the the sort of main path um, entrance into the castle uh, on foot is right to your east. Um, that is where the most light is kind of spilling out. Um, and there are uh, some additional lizard guard houses uh, dead center of uh, the front of the camp over there to the east as well. Uh, so. Okay, did the... So... Um, Snapchat came back. Did he? Did he have people with him, or are we expected to go find those people? No, he's basically told you that um, he's confirmed with his allies that he has returned, and that while not all of the haulers, his uh, his companions from earlier this night, did not return, you have instead he has instead brought back heroes who will help them start their revolt. Um, he says. Uh, when the time is right, uh, and we give them a signal of some kind, <laughs> they will do their best to join us and bring any any other allies that they can with them. What if we tell him, guys, what if we tell him the signal is the Stampede of Lizards? Yeah, that's perfect. The Stampede of Lizards will attack the Bullywogs. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, we tell Snapchat, and then we return back to our allies. Okay. Um, we attempt to. He, Snapjaw is basically asking if you wish him to stay with you, or if you plan on going alone from here on out. I think he needs to rally the troops, yeah, right? Yeah, he should we, do this. This is his chance to don't become just... the king of the lizards. You don't want us to take the glory and win the battle. They'll be singing. I'll be singing songs of myself, and trust me, that gets boring. <laughs> <laughs> we need to regale point, your tale. Pointing on my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're you're asking him to return to his camp, and then go, when the time is ready, as many. Yeah. rally yeah, yeah. as many as he can. Okay. And the, I tried to, yep. I try to inspire the... him, by the way, because Ooh. Krennic was trying to pick it up. Krennic was like telling him to be king, and so I was trying to pick, yeah. pick it. And with it the king with, you with, are meant to be. With advantage, go ahead and make a persuasion check nine, because uh, you're, you're still riding high on the heels of of Krennic's uh, godlike uh, image from <laughs> earlier in the day. I was thinking outside of the box. I re oh shit! <laughs> with advantage. Wait, can, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Can we do another? One? Please roll better than a two. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, 16. He uh, he kind of looks back at you and says, "We will be waiting for a sign." Yeah. He says, "We've been stashing many, many gifts of metal." Uh, and he knows that, like, while he has like a crude spear, you recall that like uh, one of them had a fine dagger, another one had like a fine metal sword. It was very, 
very out of place for, for these more uh, simple lizard folk. Um, but clearly they've been paid or provided with some kind of like uh, steel weaponry at times, and they seem to value it very, very highly. Um, but he returns directly into one of the vagina houses and uh, leaves Enjoys you for day. the night. Uh, the rest of you make your way uh, back to... I'd like to suggest the party before we do that. Guys, do you want me to stay here and, and wait by the gate to open it up? No, I think, uh, I think you should come with us. Okay. For safety. Uh, I mean, All I sorts like of things. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. you guys are back. That's great. Hey. I almost hey. shot what? you. And then I recognized the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, back. Oh, yeah, I'm a giant crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, sure I play up that. I play up the crocodile mouth. Hey, how's it going, Auric? <laughs> I don't think that's how crocodiles behave. Okay, <laughs> so what's going on? Give him the DL. Boom. We're, we're gonna stampede all these lizards, and then we're going to have the lizard people attack the bullywogs, and we're gonna join in the slaughter. So yep. how many how many did you get? Six. Well, well about still debatable. Uh, six and, and counting. I, you know, six and counting. Six strong. It's Super like at strong. least this many. Okay, so I have a question. Um, what's the point of a distraction? To distract, obviously. So, <laughs> yeah, if we're distracting, a uh, who are, who are we distracting, and what is our goal? Our yeah. goal is not to kill the Bollywogs. I could give a fuck about the Bollywogs. Hey, I give all the fucks about the Bollywogs. This would be honorable, and I am here to restore honor. Yeah, we are people. freeing an entire people. Okay, so it we're going to free the people to do what? To help us get to all the dragon kneelers or whatever. We could the, overthrow this castle. So our we are here to get an army. I, okay, so our six allies are going to help us overthrow the entire camp, yeah? Uh-huh. Well, that would be the goal. Plus, the, all these six lizards. Plus. Hey, and the six that they said that as soon as we start to show the strengths that we would have more in numbers. Okay. So, what happens What happens when um when we start fighting the Bollywogs and the castle opens up and all of the king's guards come pouring out and the or the dragon kneelers and start killing was that everything? What, yeah. I was kind of hoping you could sing for something cool. I, I have an idea too. I okay. We want to be part of the fray. We are going to sneak into the castle. Mm, sneak there. And kill Greyborn. Born Grey. Yeah, that's his name. And Grey. Born Born Grey. Greyborn Greyborn. Greyborn Bone Grey. That's an interesting <laughs> idea. Um. All six of us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how are we going to rally the troops? Okay, we begin if the attack. All six of us are going inside. We, yeah, we begin the attack. Okay. And then we sneak off after the rest of us then join us. We probably should have asked. Them. Probably should have asked if there was a way in the castle. We can figure that out. It's good enough. We'll find one. He pointed a way into the castle. Yeah, he pointed at there it is yeah, right there. And the I most traveled the route. I mean, one where no one goes uh, in. Ah, yeah. You know, we will cross we'll, that we'll bridge when it. we get there. We'll find it. It's ah, fine. pun. <laughs> These plans, they never work out the way we want to, anyways. So. That's exactly right. Let's. You do know this. what? Let's I'm scramble. feeling confident about this, and then Grav feels not. Con he feels real confident about this. So confident, like. Yeah. You you're looking around and you're just you're just rock hard confident. How could confident. this go wrong? How could this possibly go wrong? I feel extremely confident. I rolled an 18. But yours is the real confidence. Wisdom. <laughs> Wisdom hmm. 18. IQ 4 million play here. This is it. Okay. So uh, if uh, we need a distraction, I just so happen to be able to provide one. Oh. You can summon lizards before too. before you pro before you provide it nine after seeing these all these wisdom checks as to orc we're all going to fucking die 
Oh, I've already accepted that all of you are going to die. <laughs> I fully plan on being quite dwarvish about this whole thing and not dying. Um, I, okay. So, could we divide just real quick? I know everyone wants to get in action. Can we have a primary goal and a secondary goal? Yes, our primary goal is to what? Kill, Kill Born Resmir Grey. and Greybone? Born yep. Grey? Whatever his yep. fuck. Yeah. Born Grey, Greyborn, everybody to knows his To save the lizard people. And Resmir. Our, okay, our primary goal is to kill two ultra-powerful figures inside a guarded castle. Oh, I hate I'd them. be happy yeah, with yeah. one of them, really. Okay, uh, so um, my second question um, is, how are we doing that? We're raising a rebellion, yes? Yeah. Like this. So that's our second goal, is, or, or rather, a subcategory. In order to kill them, we need to raise a rebellion. The dwarven. Yes. <laughs> I don't like that song. Well, and Orc is way too practical for a Friday night. It's way too for fucking everybody. like giddy up. It's perfect, dude. It's dwarven. You're getting your your itemized list together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are the bullet points? Where are the bullet points? They think we're gods. Clearly, clearly, someone needs to bring a, a, a measured sense of tactics and organization to this ragtag group. Or I, I, I'd imagine that you and Grimlaw have been cooking up something while you were sitting here under the moonlight, getting oh, bitten by swamp bugs. I've got something. I'm not concerned about that something. Oh yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, Grim, Grimlaw's just staring at you. I'm more concerned about how we're going about this. I, do, has any of us even seen a fucking bully walk? Do we nope. even know what they are or what they look like? I mean, I've I've gone gone uh, I've seen plenty of Bollywog. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Scouting? If you wanted you to see any Bollywogs, the they're definitely just straight up to the past the past the reeds to the northeast. Yeah, look hanging out by their huts. They're gross. They're not even. Yeah. Decent. They stay. They, they, not only, not, not only, not only do you see um, Bullywog silhouettes um, milling about and patrolling their own camp, but you also see gigantic frogs, like actual frogs, oh. kind of, kind of sunk down in. Uh, like Oric, it wasn't you that spotted it, but Grimlaw definitely did initially near the banks of the shore, kind of like stuck down in the mud, almost up to their eyeballs. You saw one kind of like. And like hop out and kind of like try to eat some of the nighttime bugs that were around the water line there. So like the all of this standing water, uh, flooded terrain, uh, it, like at least near the Bullywog camp is kind of filled with uh, these sort of submerged gigantic frogs. I whispered to Nut. I bet a lizard could take care of that. Okay, so if I can create a distraction, a very quite impressive distraction in the middle of their camp. Oh yeah, we know it'll be in impressive. So just, <coughs> just please, someone humor me here. What is the follow-up plan <laughs> to the massive fucking distraction that will be provided? Well, someone... The lizard people will attack. Okay, so who's leading the attack? The lizard what people. Is... You are Snapchat. leading the attack. That's what's gonna happen. He has six allies. So I don't mind leading. If you're not running into combat against a hundred plus of their enemies, there's no way in hell that the frickin' lizard people are gonna do jack shit. Okay? All right. And then what is your distraction plan? You keep talking about it, but what is it? It's an explosion. What ah. is explosion, precious? Imagine a giant fireball. <gasps> Ooh. It's okay. not. It's not a fireball. Can it's you do this? Else. Oh. Of course I can do this. You can do this! Gra okay. disguises himself as one foot taller. I'm ready to go! Okay. Well, should the distraction start with the explosion? Or should it start with something else that leads them to an explosion? Nine, like this, is why, this is why I like it, Nine. Oh wait, you're starting <laughs> to think strategically, I like it. I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> as I take a big hit of the of, out of my smoke monster pipe and I make a little... <laughs> Polywog or whatever bounce away. Grob refills the pipe immediately. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grob. You're welcome. You're such an <laughs> enabler. My mind, the point of the distraction is to distract. <laughs> if I mean, we could distract all of the Bollywogs, right? If there's a huge fire in their camp, that gives us an opportunity to go somewhere else. 
Yeah. Perhaps Sit the point of the distraction is not to distract, but to lure. That's what I'm saying. Krinik and I could put on one hell of a show over there. Oh yeah. We I could bring them in. I like your shows. <laughs> if we could get these, get these uh, targets in the middle of the battle, perhaps we could have the lizards turn on them and focus all of their fire. Hundred arms on just a few people, I feel like they would die. When, when Quinnick and I set the distraction, or when we, we run the, the greatest play, singing the greatest song in the world, yeah. you can set the charges. Whatever you I, see would be best. Um, I haven't been clear on this, but it's not a charge. It's, a, it's an explosive rune that I will attach to an arrow. I just fire it in and it'll it literally explode. How far explosive could you arrows. fire one of those? Um, quite far. No offense, Orc, but uh, I wouldn't want to be standing anywhere near where you may or may not hit your target. Hopefully, I'll have some inspiration. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you would find that, but uh, I hope you find can, it. Can I, you cast inspiration? <laughs> for all of our sakes, I hope that I find it. I thought that's what kind of like your thing. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, okay. Gra, Gra starts to impatiently walk back and forth in the muck, and it makes uh, splooshy noises. I think we're ready to go. We're yeah. just going to... Krennic and, Krennic and I would, would do a, uh, a show in the middle of town. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yep. Right. And and, I, and just out of, just for clarification, what was it that they were looking for to rise up? The lizard folk. Uh, but, but it was, there was the a particular, was yeah, a particular yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, well, I mean, no, I mean, Snapjaw basically just said, like, they would they would wait for some kind of sign. It was something about, like, lizards running or lizards doing something. Oh, yeah, that was the sign. We were going to cause a stampede of lizards. I think, I think that was just, I think that was just Gra describing what he thought the sign could be. Okay, Gra, that's fine. Gra kicks the button. I don't that, think so. Snapjaw got Come any confirmation on. of what the sign would be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, uh, make a... Stampede. I'm gonna I'm gonna give um Krennic and and Nine an insight check here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just good a, at this. Just a drunks and dragons freebie. I'm not good at this. Yeah, hopefully I can be a little bit insight you said. Mm-hmm. Please be good at this. Please be good oh, at this. Oh, no, I'm that's not. the same the exact. Either. Well, you did do it better. Cool. Carry on. Plan. You're dead. They all surround you. Okay, so when do you want uh, the explosion in the center of their village to explode? Uh, so I think what would be good is like if well, we're doing this. Okay, so I tell Orc yeah. the idea of the song. The song is called uh, "The Stampede of the Lizards," and da, da, be, da, 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 we're we're gonna da, hit it right <laughs> on the nose with what Gras said it was, what, what the song was gonna be, in hopes that we attract everybody because it's gonna be a tale about the rise against this oppressive. So you're doing the I'm sorry you're doing the performance in the lizard camp. Uh yeah. Okay, sorry. Just making sure you weren't going to the <laughs> bollywogs and being like, hey. Oh no. You know we yeah. Why don't you synchronize that with uh, there was an explosion, or some kind of sign. Yes, a song. Yeah? A song and element. In the song, when it reaches a crescendo. Or whatever, the brown note. Yes. Then. The explosion, and if the explosion happens and their hearts are riled, yeah, then yes. we might have an army. Yeah, Krennic, yeah, you have yeah. you have fireworks, yeah. I do have. I can. Uh, we can hide yes. the explosion mm -hmm. with some fireworks. Yeah. Should the fireworks be where you're at, or should they be somewhere else? They should be at the gate of the castle. Ross sneaks off. Um, perhaps it would be a good idea for me to take a high <laughs> vantage point. I think this is a great idea, man. Yes. So I could, so I could see lots of things and perhaps Shoot give cover fire in the event of uh, bad times. That is correct. Okay. So Maybe you could pick or, it too. Also, <laughs> Matsu, we'll never leave him. <laughs> Matsu, you're quite sneaky, yeah. Uh, um, that is correct. What if he planted the fireworks? I can definitely do this. The fireworks. <laughs> 
Okay, the yes. fireworks are the sign. So when you reach the point in time, uh, nine, can you send messages at all or something? Oh, I can. I, I can. I will be in communications with you. Okay. Just make sure you can see me. You send the sign. When I see the fireworks, I'm firing the arrow that will explode things. Not a lot of things, but some things. In a concentrated area. I have a dumb question. Of about 20 feet. No, go ahead and make your, go ahead and make your stealth check, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Cool. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me go. All right. Uh, sorry. Carry on with the planning. Um. Did we we sold our uh hearing stones right for something good? Nope. We have them. Oh. Here, and I give you one. Give Growl one? Uh, Growl's gone. already left. Oh, wait, I hold it up, but I'm like, wait. He's gone. Oh. Ah, uh, fuck. Who should we give this to? <laughs> Who's um. near us? Oh my god. Stop, stop, Fiddy! Growl, roll a uh, dexterity save. I give one to <gasps> Ark. Thank you. I will take this. Hearing stone. Yeah, you have an extra for me. I may need it <gasps> as well. Is this it? Is this is this the end of Gra? Uh, a a small group of um lizard folk can be seen uh going this way, and this way, uh and just as like Gra, you're sort of sussing out the pen, trying to see how many lizards are in there, if you can rile them up. Uh, they come in, they stop in front of you. <sighs> And they start speaking they, in, in kind of broken common, this pigeon common, and say, oh, You knew. Yeah, knew. uh, I go, uh, snap, draw, uh, send, graw, here. <coughs> snap, jaw. And they kind of look at you. <laughs> It, it, with a look of, I mean, it's hard to tell. They have lizard faces, right? But they, um, you get a Whoa. sense of, uh, <laughs> get a sense, sense of uncertainty. Um, but two of them stop in front of the pens near the road. Two of them move to walk past you towards uh, the tent. Say, snap jaw. Let us see. And then Gra, Gra uh, uh, bows, and he and he says, "Yes, uh, you get Snapchat." And he he motions. Make a deception check. No, I'm trying to deceive. I'll do it. <laughs> well, I mean, are you? Yeah, yeah, it's Ooh. good enough. I mean, it's charisma based essentially, which is good yeah. enough. So, um, okay, uh, the two go and. Snapjaw um, returns out of the tent with them, and he, he looks at you and looks at them. Says, "Yes, he's here with the camp, uh, essentially in broken English." Gra, all you hear is like, you see him like nodding, like yes, you know, like you get the sense that like he's trying to like tell them that you're cool. All right, I uh, I I get close to Snapjaw and I. Sign and speak at the same time. Uh, uh, sign, explosion, and and that's a plus sign. And lizards, a stampede. You're like pointing at the pen or something, or yeah, I like point at the pen and I try to make my best like stampede motion. It's like a forward wave and like lizards. <laughs> They're looking at the pen behind you. Like the four new faces look a little bit perplexed. Um, what are the rest of you doing right now? Getting ready. We we have going our plan. Nine. We should be yep. moving into position. Can okay. I look for um, a high vantage point somewhere uh, for future necessities? So the only high vantage point potentially. Uh, would be trying to scale the old castle itself. Um, 
out of character, how good of a scaler is Tortal? <laughs> Um, <laughs> you figure that out, buddy. <laughs> your highest is the dexterity. Not, yeah. not super good. But my dexterity is pretty high, so wouldn't I be? As very strength based, my friend. Oh, oh. Very okay. athletics okay. focused. Uh, at least for just like straight <laughs> trying to climb. I mean, yeah, there'd be some handholds and stuff like that. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have like right. the highest difficulty rating. Um, but in terms of like climbing. You don't see many turtles climbing shit. Do that. Just the um, ninja okay. turtles. Right. Um, I guess. I mean that. That being uh, said, too, like as far as like common common sense for your character goes, um, trying to scale up uh, what you currently believe to be a uh, heavily staffed keep or castle, uh, you'd be like climbing past arrow slits and guard outposts and other things, and uh, at least potentially, you know, like there's. What there's if? some there's some risk involved, you know. Maybe it's got worth a reward. I don't know. Uh, Matsu Matsu looks around for any sort of like rope or anything. Is there any rope nearby? Um, most of you would have like um just a basic uh like 50 foot length of like hempen rope. Oric. As part of your travel kit. User disconnected from your channel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is that Oric? There goes the Oric. Yeah. Oh, that timing. Okay. Uh, I might talk to him. <laughs> yeah, the rest of you um, are yeah, prepping, you prepping channel. to head into um, the the lizard camp to the south as well. Mm -hmm. We're, or I would assume Krennic and I are kind of going over some, uh, some keynotes here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mordic, you yeah. have rope and metal. Uh, do you need a grappling hook? I think it would be a great tool for me to, mm. to scale to a high place. Yeah, I wish you'd given me a heads up. I could probably have made this easier for you. At the very least, an auric just very quickly fashions like a piece of metal. Uh, you bend a rod. <laughs> <laughs> bend the hell out of it. Uh, no, I would use my, my daily crafting ability to oh. craft. Oh. Um, I would also make the metal part long enough to where they couldn't cut the rope. Um, like it's not the rope isn't immediately attached to the hook, right? Like it's down. There's like a metal rod almost. Okay. So that and the it's tied down here. So just so, so just so you're all aware, real quick, in terms of 3D space on the poster, uh, the main entrance with the light spilling out that the lizard pointed at uh, on the map. Let me just do this for you as far as sussing things out. Um, this on the map, you see this? Or sorry, on the uh, on the poster? Uh -huh. yeah. um, that door is basically the same as this. Okay. Uh, so that is like on like a ramp up to uh, like a porticullist large archway with like a an outcropped sort of barbican uh tower uh, uh above it there um and then this guy is uh equivalent to this okay yeah essentially um okay. real quick i fashion it in a way that he can actually shoot the thing up with his bow Okay. There's a Aww. rope attached to it. Metal pieces long enough to where it actually hooked to his bowstring. Okay. Um, Gra, as you are um, trying to describe uh, to Snapjaw what's going on, and he's trying to describe to the four other lizard folk, uh, the rest of you are just sort of arriving and can kind of hear uh, the voices ahead where you've you've kind of guessed that Gra. Uh, is located. <laughs> Big um, bad uh, smash. Orc isn't going down there. Oh, okay. Sorry, where's Orc going? Orc is positioning himself to fire the arrow. From over <laughs> there. So I will fire it. Uh, I don't know what the range of a crossbow is, but I imagine it's uh, it could be pretty far. Pretty good. One twenty. One twenty, probably at least. And what? At, at the I'm pretty sure I didn't leave either. I mean, I'm sure it could go to like 600. I'm sure, but I'd probably what? have disadvantage on. Yeah. So you're firing your, you're trying to fire your explosion into the Bollywood camp, while everyone else goes to the lizard camp. Correct. 
Ah, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> that <Set> was fitty. <laughs> that was the distraction that Oric was talking about. Gotcha. Unless we had agreed on something completely different. No, no, no. Well, I, 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 I generally will let you guys like ramble and meander, but then what I need is very accurate details about what you're actually doing. Uh, yeah, as as we move into the real time stage of things, okay. if, if and when the explosion goes off, Gra pushes up on the opening for the lizards. Okay, well you are you are now um, your allies have uh, Gra uh, arrived and it's sort of like the the bush line above you. Uh, there are a couple lizards uh, here and here with Snapjaw uh, moving in and kind of like. Arr. And now that you've got some translators, I like, oh, he's kind of like telling him to come in. Um, Krennic, uh, <laughs> you can tell that uh, Snapjaw appears to be in need of some help communicating with Gra. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he, he says, Snapchat. he says, um, these folk, uh, based on your appearance, think you may be cultists or guest of the cultists. What? Uh, I'm... I'm trying uh, to figure out w whether we should attempt to bring them in on this plot or uh, lie to them, essentially. Oh. Uh. Well. Wh wait, which part of the plot do they need to be brought in, on? I thought everyone is. Are, to are you speed. describing this to me, or are you keeping it all to yourself and then gonna translate later? Uh. Hey, this is a conversation between oh. Snapjaw and, and Krennic right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le yeah. I thought, okay, wait. Uh, I don't think we kept the plot away from him. Like, we want... Not Snapjaw. Snapjaw is asking for your advice about, like, these patrol guards, lizard oh, folk oh, who have arrived. I see, I see, I see, I see. He, he's... You, you immediately sense he's unsure. Like, you know, yeah. there's, there's a risk that they might not be on board. Uh, oh, sure. Lie to these guys. And as far as, like, how we look... Yeah. Nine, could you help disguise me? Oh yes, I would love more... to. Okay, Such cool. Maybe ask. we just and I, I begin looking around like all these reeds and stuff and dirt and like how do do I just rub this dirt on me? Do, do I look too clean? Uh, yes, yes, and I, I smear things, I push things, I pull some feathers to make them look like scales. Uh, I go crazy. I mean, I mean, right out of the gate, well, you are currently you are in the in the you've got these four strange lizard folk around you. Yeah. Snapjaw straight up tells you that he, they think you're with the cultists. Oh, <laughs> well, I just started like rubbing dirt on yeah, you. Like, <laughs> I'm not with the cultists. Like, Do they think I'm with the cultists? No, is that you like draw a pentagram in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, cultists. Uh, no, we're not with the cultists. Okay. Um. This, okay. Um. Sure. So, uh, Snapjaw with your aid is is going to. Uh, try to persuade these fellows. Yeah. Uh, one sec. They don't seem persuaded, uh, to say the least. Um, two, two of them, you know, they're looking at you like, uh, you, you quickly, you, how, any, how many the, are there? The couple, there's four of them, the, the, the few of you that speak draconic, Quickly yeah. say like, oh, what do you mean they're not with the cultists? Who are they then? And like the other ones like, are these in? What's happening, Snapjaw? And like you know they immediately kind oh, of go into oh, this. They want me to be a cultist. They they immediately go into this whole thing like, you fool! Like you know, and I, they kind of draw weapons. No 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 okay. And then I, I I hold I hold one back, and then I open up the inside of my robe, revealing cultist colors, and then uh, and the sigil of like the. Frulum, right? And I and I say in Draconic, I'm undercover, you fools. Squish face. Don't blow it. <laughs> they Damn. they back down a little bit and sheath their weapons and kind of like look at Snapjaw a bit perplexed. He and then I say, he's working for us. Inside job. Go about your business. You you hear in Draconic they um. They make some comment, uh, something along the lines of like, you know, we see you've gotten back into the cultists, the dragon kneelers, good graces, Snapjaw. 
and they kind of like have a little. You can tell there's a little bit of animosity between this group and Snapjaw, and you see that they they turn away from the pen, the stockade, and head back towards the more central Shit. lizard folk camp uh, in front of the keep. Oh my Rob uh, pipes up. Hey, a critic. Yeah. Oh, and then I say what happened. What the fuck's going <laughs> oh, on? Sh yeah, they were patrols, and uh, I thought they were looking for non-cultists, but then they are fine. I just said I'm a cultist. We're all cultists. We're cultists now? No, I mean, not really. Just telling them we are. It's fine. They're gone. It's like pretense. Let's continue with the plan. <laughs> um, Gra looks south. I'm ready to rock. Distance. Yep. Snapjaw kind of, like, lets out a... Yeah. Well, if you guys are alright with this, and then Gra walks over to the closest uh, lizard fence gate. Yeah. And he goes, and he, po he pushes the, <laughs> the lock up. <laughs> so, uh, are they attracted to meat or something? Should we throw meat at the castle or what? Let the lizards do what they will. Bunch of giant yeah. carnivorous <laughs> lizards. Yeah. Uh, you tell me. I, I open the gate. I let them do what they will. I step uh, back. I step oh, back. shit. I step back behind Gra. <laughs> huh. I kind of... Getting as out they, of their way. As they start to funnel out of the gate, I slap them on the butt. Wait, and Clyde... like, go! hi -ya! And I, I, I slap <laughs> them forward. Clyde Frog needs your help to tell him what exactly you're doing. Uh, okay. You... <laughs> You you open the gate and the you lizards. attempt to slap the lizards. Slap them forward. <laughs> slap well, on the we butt. free them. Can it be I a free cowboy? Them. I'd like I'm I'm treating them like cattle. Like I want them to go forward, so I'm slapping them on on the hind to get them to go forward. Cool. All right. Oh um... God, are we dead? <laughs> <laughs> just exit and then attack us. <laughs> the alligators kill you. Alright, four giant lizards uh, appear to be active in the pen. Uh, giant in the sense that they are bigger than you, Sir Gra. Uh, no! And oh my what have God. I done? Uh, you, you open the gate and see the silhouettes that you noticed are way bigger now that you've taken time to inspect them um, face to face. Uh, uh, and you are no. attempting to... Well, first, why don't we all roll initiative? Um... <sighs> Well, we're uh, dead, Oric, guys. Oric, I'm sorry. Oric, you and I'm Grimlock. Sorry. I didn't even get to do what we just spent the last <laughs> hour talking about doing. No. Oric, you and Grimlock, yes, watching from afar, um, have seen this patrol walk away towards uh, the keep, uh, and you see uh, you see Grimlock going towards the pen. Um, you all may as well roll initiative too. Oh. Uh. Oh If no. they haven't, if they haven't. Oh. If they haven't noticed us, <laughs> we can disappear. Uh, yeah, uh, turtle can make us invisible. Um, I can certainly try. <laughs> uh, I use pass without trace. Well, we're wheels are in wheels yep. and or gates are in motion at okay. this particular moment. Um, so let's see. <laughs> Jesus, they're uh, fucking huge. I thought. This was gonna be. I thought this was gonna be good. Uh, you hear, you hear one of the, the the giant lizards in like the rear, kind of coming out. Like you know, like the zoo. There's always like that little hut, that kind of constructed. Like this guy's like the one back there, and they're like, it was kind of like, he's laid down on it, on all of his legs, like, <laughs> starts rising up. You can tell that he looks we a need little to hungry. Bring some to the gate. Uh, Krinic, uh, you see all of this beginning to unfold. What are you doing? Uh, oh shit! Uh, I what? what I can just what close do they eat? the door. Why don't I, I know close what they, the door? I know what they eat. What do they eat? Uh, meat. you know what they, they eat? eat? They they eat meat. Yeah, especially warm stuff. Why don't okay. just close the door? Close the door. Uh, They're not out yet. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I rush forward to try to close the door. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as Gra unhooks the pin and starts going and, and like sees the lizard in front of him, uh, <laughs> he immediately forgets the rule of cowardice uh, and starts turning back to you and says, scream, you know, like, close the door, close the door. Uh, and you move ahead and just start closing the door. Uh, I, well, is it start closing? Do I even feel like I can make it? 
Or yes. Are they just gonna... Yeah. If you oh, take your okay. if you take your full turn, you <laughs> certainly could. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Jesus. The door closes as you look at Gra. Um, <laughs> Matthew. Oh, they're gigantic. What are you planning? Uh, I I wanted to use them as a distraction, but I didn't realize. I mean, perspective. I'm I'm new to the whole sense of perspective. I can stick my thumb up, and I think my thumb's as big as something in the distance. All right. Well, I we can, thought they were tiny. We can lovingly pause the initiative order and go back to oh, real time if you want. Uh, <laughs> okay, as you, as you pant heavily in front of of the gates, what are you doing? Let's let's fucking get into it. What are you doing? Okay. How do we di how do we use them? Do we do we lay down a trail of meat to the their yes. destination? I think my map's fucked up right now. I, think I just see a bunch of do. black yeah. stuff. Oh, you have to. Uh, there's a button out. at the bottom right, so you can control, left click, and drag to resize yeah, the actual panel. And, and then you can right. mouse wheel in and out, and then you can middle click, drag around. You can see the tokens on there. Yeah, I see our. I see us, but it's oh, in like black space. It might be uh, a little bugged out. All right, well, give it. Maybe try closes? closing it, and I'll push it to you again. Okay. Uh, try it again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, nine. What are you doing? It sound like you had some things All cooking. Right. Well, I mean, things kind of just changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, but I feel like the crank has onto something here with with trying to lead these monstrous beasts mm. into also, a different camp. They Snapjaw said that they were used for as horses. Yep. Perhaps we could ride them into battle. Oh, that uh, that might be true, but uh, they're certainly fucking so. large. <laughs> it would be like riding an uh, elephant. I agree. Uh, it would be like that. Snapper's um, looking. Snapper's looking at all of you and says, "The beasts are <laughs> riled now. We should take action if we plan to do something this night before more patrols come." Prinik, how much meat do we have? I uh, have none. Anybody? Do, do I, we I have a have... ranged attack and somebody with a ranged attack that could shoot the bolt off of this door at a distance? I mean, I could yeah. always try. I can mine. I can minor illusion them all the way to the door, perhaps. I could fly. I could open it and fly away. Okay. There you go. There you go. We just need to be at a distance so, when they come out. Let's do that. So what we'll do is we'll stand further back towards the direction where we're taking them, right? Which is the other camp encampment. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. And uh, someone will shoot the lock open, and okay. then Krennic will fly away so that they chase him, and then Krennic should disappear, and I'll use Minor Illusion so he can get back to safety and turn yeah. it into Krennic so that it All right. like they're flying towards him. Hey, that is sound, and I yeah, like it. That's a good plan. Okay. I mean, I can open it. You don't need to shoot it. I can just open it and fly to yeah, have yeah. them come to me. Okay, okay. That way it's 100% mm -hmm. success. And where do we want to sit? Mm -hmm. Let's, let's get up by Orc. We're heading to Orc, telling him the plan, distance. doing all you that. You do it, you stuff. do it. Yeah, hand waved. Okay. We can, we, we can, we can, by all, like, for, for massive, large scale strategies, like, by all means, like, let's fucking jump in and out of character as needed just to kind of, like, pin shit okay. down and move. Okay. If you're coming over to me, are we singing the songs and getting the people riled up? Yes or no? Yes. I don't think so. I thought that was the whole point of doing yeah. what we're doing. I don't think yeah, so anymore. Yeah. Cause, okay, so because we're gonna be having lizards coming. So and an how, explosion. How do the people know? Well, because they that know that's the sign. They, well, they knew that from when we told them that look for the the stampede of lizards. I, I mean, sna Snapjaw, Snapjaw's here and at the ready now, uh, and and with you. Uh, I mean, tell if you want to tell them whatever you you want, go for it. Because <laughs> don't you think? I mean, don't you think that I, would just be as, as quick and easy without having to do extra stuff? You do both. I mean, I I thought the point was to hide like, the fireworks. W well, it was to it was to like get the people. Like the whole point of song is to say what you can't say with words, so you sing it, right? Like you put on you you rile up their hearts. Is I thought. Oh, I mean, the that's idea. The best way to, yeah, get them behind it was to okay. get them excited about yeah yeah right, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. All right, we can, do, it. We can but, do that but maybe maybe like the at least my thought was no, maybe no, you, like you're right, you're the right. sign for them is behold the great you know like the great beasts ride forth to battle 
um, behold the explosions that are, you know, whatever uh, it is. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Provide all those I had some words. I had some I, words for a while, but I don't know if they pertain anymore. And then um, people are like, oh shit, the prophecy. The prophecy is happening now. Fuck. Oh my god, it's happening. All right. Uh, it, 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 can we ride these things? Grot, Grot, Grot sticks his hand out, and there is a chunk of alligator meat. Uh, alligator mm -hmm. shoulder meat, and he, he holds oh. it out to the, the big giant lizard. Uh, Krennic, he... make an animal, animal handling check. Oh, 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 I'm good at this. Not that good. You've, you've got alligator, of. too, by eh, the way. Animals like food. I mean, clearly, <laughs> clearly things, <laughs> things have ridden them based on some of, like, the <laughs> rough tack and harness, uh, that you've spotted inside oh, the pen. There's tack and harness in there. Uh, how do we go about riding them? Krennic, you know in your heart how to do it, and I, I, I toss alligator I'm not right. meat towards them. I'm not right. Okay, you toss it into the pen? I toss it through the fence. I'm holding my hand through the fence, and I toss it in. Do they go them. for it? Uh, you're tossing meat into the pen? Yeah. Alligator meat. Oh, yeah. They, uh, how much are you tossing in? I believe I have an alligator shoulder among, uh, I have croc shoulder. I will give the croc shoulder. Okay. I will, um, put my dog's chill pad on my chair for my swamp ass. My swamp mm. ass is on theme. Oh, there it is. Mm. Oh, that's good. Whew. Um, you, you said you tossed like a, a large shoulder hunk of meat? Yep, and I removed it. Oh yeah. Prime cut. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, like feeding feeding time at the zoo, like all the like they're snapping at each other. They're all coming forward to like where the pile of meat is like ripping it from each other. Like these are some big, massive, strong-looking lizard beasts. Over here. Yeah, they're they're into it. Now what do we do? I let's go, I let's go make a song. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah, start yeah, playing yeah. this beat that's happening. Yeah, let's just not let's let's go. Oh get damn, beat. this is a good beat. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go get the village involved, and as yeah. soon as they're rallied, we uh, work the explosion into the fireworks, and then we let loose all the lizards. Yep. And and, and if I can, I want Gra to stick his hand out and have one of them sniff it. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Gra. What the fuck? Um, Gra, so, roll an animal yeah. handling check, and then nine, you're up. I can't wait to make you a hook. For like a hand. I thought about this, and I've... you know what? That's Drop. why I'm rolling this. No! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, nine. nine. What are you, nine? What are you doing? No. I, was just gonna start, I was gonna start singing the song, but yeah, I go with nine. Way to go. Yeah. Okay. Per I'm kind of curious what happens with this four right now, though. Mats <laughs> Matsuo, you are moving with the song and dance troupe, or what? Um. Yep. Do you play any instruments, Mats? Uh, yeah, I, Matsuo actually has his trusty, uh, he has a, uh, a flute that he carries along. He's had it for his entire right. life. Right, we needed that wind instrument. Because I'm playing the Yarting, but I also have my pipe hanging out of my mouth, so I can blow, part, the smoke oh monsters God. are part of the performance. Snap, Snapjaw, Snapjaw sees you all moving towards the camp, and he, and he just nods, uh, and... And he kind of like throws his arms up wide, goes over to the fire in the center of the camp with like the low Ooh. burning embers and starts throwing some wood on it, kind of just wafting the smoke up and just starts um, speaking, not shouting, but very loudly and just says, you know, like brothers and sisters, warriors of the scaly death tribe, the time to avenge our shaman. Our glorious leader has come. Far back splatter goo and the bullywug bastards who done our sin will pay. And like he just fucking, like with the beat of the music, just starts wafting and wafting the smoke up, letting it rise. Oh, oh, yeah. and, and, and I, a minor illusion to like add sparks and embers mm -hmm. into the smoke. And like the lizard folk, like some of them clearly like awake, some of them a little groggy as if like to being woken to, to this, like start like emerging from the tents. Um, each tent appears to be housing about uh, uh, anywhere from a dozen to two dozen lizard warriors as they start kind of spilling out around the camp. Uh, meanwhile, Gra, you are um, reaching your hand in 
uh, <laughs> to to let let them sniff it. Uh, yeah. And and as one of um, one of the giant lizards gets his hunk of meat just ripped away, your hand appears, and he just goes to snap at it. Uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. Don't do that. Oh, please, Jesus. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, you pull it back, but not before it just, like, grazes the, uh, the top of your wrist for four points of damage. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I, uh, as I take the damage... He's kind of... <laughs> yeah, I use an ability on him. And this is you just reaching through like the small opening between the poles, or is the gate still closed, right? The gate is still yeah. closed, but just, he just verifying that. But he did uh, damage to me, and yeah. I am going to do nothing. I will do nothing to him. Cool. Um, so uh, a small, a small entourage of lizard folk uh, 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 spill out from, from this, and, and Snapjaw kind of finishes his tirade and looks to you all and describes you as like, uh, heroes from the prophecy, I've seen a grand vision of them slaughtering the frog hemoths, standing before us as heroes who will free us and give us back the mirror, uh, and he just turns and looks to you all expectantly. Uh, yeah, and we yeah. just start rocking the house right now. Again, yeah, and the first thing I blow out is a frog, uh, a, 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 what's it, what are they called, bog, a, what are they called? Bully 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 wind or a bully bully wog. Bully wog. Oh, I blow out this bully wog of monster. smoke, and, oh, uh, and then the, the tale I'm telling is, is the, is down with bully wogs, and it's, uh, yeah. it says, there once was a people who, a great people who were powerful and strong, enslaved by the wrong, slimy, gross, yuck, bullywogs. And, and just like in Kill Bill, uh, like at the end of Kill Bill 2, when he's telling the story, I'm like playing along on my flute. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. To, to the story. And, uh, and, then, and then I minor illusion to like fill up the smoke monster with yeah. like tendrils of flames. Uh, any, any, any. Uh, obviously, they're ooing and aahing at the at this uh, the the. the the symbology uh, in front of yeah. them there, <laughs> and, uh, then... and then all of the all of the magic sparks and everything that you're kind of layering in. Clearly, this more primitive um, group of creatures is easily fucking um, dazzled by this, and it, it's only like heightening and, and selling perfect uh, uh, this whole thing uh, even more. But, um, collectively, since Nine and Krennic are, are kind of driving this, um, why don't one of you with advantage roll a persuasion check? Uh-oh, who's it gonna be? You choose. <laughs> you may choose. I don't, I'll... Uh, you. <laughs> I don't know what you have on your... Persuasion? <laughs> no, I, I no, am not that you. good. Uh, yeah, and, go. and the lizard folk, like, all just... Yeah clutch their weapons uh and and snap jaw kind of like mm. uh points back to the tents and like just is like nodding at like a, a key a, a key looking figure with each of them and you see them kind of like nodding back and they return into the long houses uh, and you can hear you know the sounds of like them almost like uh unearthing like a secret stash and then they emerge with just like bundles and swaths of yeah. metallic uh well-crafted weapons steel weapons that are foreign to them but clearly that they cherish and have been saving for such an occasion mm, uh and lovely. and and they stand uh around the camp on the opposite side of the fire um looking out at you all and snapjaw looking at snapjaw with um with a bit of um like you know this is our like you know he's not their official leader but they're looking at him like he's our leader now and we're ready um yeah. uh snapjaw Ooh. says uh I think we can trust most of them, and at this stage, if any of them deceive us, it's too late and it's of ill consequence. It says we will follow you. What shall we do? Yeah. Essentially, and uh, <laughs> and they'll have no choice but to trust us once we blow up their gates. Signal. And and then yeah. uh, Matsu uh, slams the fireworks into the ground <laughs> and lights it on fire and and sets off the fireworks. And, and, and falls. And is, a, is it like Some right place. at your feet? Yeah, like directly where I'm standing. I'm just like, and 
then like go for it and s try and set it off you're, immediately. You're covered with carbon. And then... <laughs> what were you saying, Casey? Krennic and I play that song right as the fireworks go off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so Krennic. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, Auric. Uh, wrong Rick. Uh, what? You, you, and Grimlaw watch and and see most of this starting to unfold. Does Auric hear any messages? Does he? <laughs> Roll a perception check. Well, you're using you message. Explosion, right? I mean, you yeah. see. Oh, yeah. my bad. Yeah, that's my fault. Do I okay. see work? Work oh. is asking you the gate or the village of Bollywogs. Uh oh. Wait, I, I can't hear you. Me? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're asking me what now? I said the gate to the castle or the 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 village of Bollywogs. I'd say it's the village, yeah? Okay, yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I think we're getting to the castle if you okay, want. Okay, get oh, the castle. Yeah. yeah. I want this to come through to Auric. Like, I don't know, what do you think? What, I mean... <laughs> He's just sitting there with like the fucking oh. thing ready, like, What you make up, you fucking The castle is better. Because no, we're gonna I'm gonna say this now army. because I feel like it's important. My, bla my map is think completely happen. black now, so I can't see anything that's happening. Maybe oh, just no. close it and let Fiddy push it to you again. Um, yeah, I even then... restarted Battleground, uh, hmm. the, whole, the whole thing. Casey, were you saying something too? Alright, well hang, hang tight. I mean, it's more more, more in your mind than anything at this point. Okay. It's sure. probably better that we do blow up the gate door because we're going to be coming at them with an army. And if they turn, these polywogs are going to look at this gate and they're going to get swarmed by lizard people and us. And then we can slip in because the door will already be exploded. Done, here you go. <laughs> okay, uh, Warwick is going to very quickly try to shift positions as quickly as he can. Sure, he's had plenty of time okay, to do any actually... shifting he wants to do. Okay, can we just yeah. say that he's down <laughs> yes! in the general direction? Yes, there please. Okay, Warwick is going to cast a third level spell. Oh, okay. Uh, Glyph of Warding. He's going to cast Glyph of Warding. And I can push this. This is a long read. Um, yeah, yeah, but suffice it to say, explosive runes on an arrow. Uh, conditions are fire on impact. Um, on impact, the arrow will blow up in a 20 foot radius. Mm. That's a lot of text. Yes. I yeah. know, right? What the fuck uh, is that Sean, spell? just so you know, you can you can double click on Kyle's screen share if you want to maximize yeah, 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 yeah. that. You got that? Cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so sorry, Oric, can you finish describing to us? <laughs> Oric is, is casting Glyph of Warding on okay. an arrow. <laughs> all right. On impact, there will be a... Explosive rune? Specify the type of damage. <laughs> I'm looking for enemies. Are there enemies at the front gate? At the Not front anymore. gate. So I mean, the, uh, just to reiterate too, like the front gate is this ramp that goes up here to this portcullis, just like in that that picture. Now you're talking about the front gates of the castle, right? Not the I am. village. I am totally talking about the front gate. Uh, yeah, the there there is Arms light. The castle. There's light spilling out, um, and and clearly, um, there's a couple figures near the outside of the gate, and and what sounds like uh, numerous ones within. From I'm too far away to see inside. Yes, probably. Yes, okay, correct. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking shoot the front guys with the the conditions are fire damage on impact. It will explode with the explosive runes. So that's a 20 foot radius. 20 foot oh radius. Oh my god! <whistles> Is okay. napalm, you learned napalm. Mm. Uh, you do it this can whenever. Be, hey friend, it can be any damage type. So it can be acid, lightning, thunder. I'll make it pee pee. Fire. Pee pee damage. Fire. Yeah, make it rainbows. <laughs> oh Rainbow my damage. god! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's working! It's working! Alright, uh, collect your thoughts while I load some things. <laughs> Everyone erupts into skeletons. Um. Hey, <laughs> Krennic! 
Ha! Ah! Do you think it's a good idea if I take my vantage point now? Yeah. Should I, should I get in position? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shoot I'm, any bad guys. I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, it's your grappling hook. Yeah, I'm gonna use my grappling hook to try and scale the castle? Okay. I can't... I hope you make this, well, and I also hope you please. don't make this. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know where I can approach it from, though. Like, where, where am I gonna end up? <laughs> this makes a big difference. Dude. Yeah. I hope we see a turtle shell just fall off the side of the. the I, I guessed on my screen. <laughs> Into the bog. Oh my god. Hey, you got it. Actually, that oh, was really oh, close oh, shot. Oh. Nice. So you're you're firing yeah. something roughly roughly like that. Correct. Okay, what's the range on your shit? Your your uh it's a heavy crossbow, so I assume a pretty ridiculous amount. Okay. Uh I'm looking shoot you shoot it twenty feet. It doesn't hit the wall. <laughs> um it falls into the muck. <laughs> it is a hundred feet without disadvantage, yes, four hundred feet with disadvantage. Wow. So, uh so that's oh, 130 do the 400. Feet. Or yeah. if I can just <clears throat> try to get this extra little bit hmm. enough to get not disadvantage. Dude, do the yeah, 400. I mean, that's you, nuts. You could, you could do that. You just move along the the path. Right right in front of the path patrol for the Bullywugs. Pretty much. I mean, we'll never know what hit him. Here. Uh, grapple the gun. In the face. I mean, you got two options, man. You stick along <laughs> to the the more slim reeds right there near the path north, or you go right out in the middle of the thoroughfare. Yeah. How many people are patrolling right now? Um. I mean, you could you could wait for your moment where there's clearly no one going by on I mean, on the road. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah. Fireworks are erupting. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anybody who's around this part, I want to run out. I want to like. I don't want to have disadvantage on this because this would be a pretty. I feel like this is pretty big. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't will run out. Don't this. Okay. Oh, I'm trying not to pound. Okay. It. <laughs> as you as you run out um, and and see the things, um, you see two um, bollywogs as you get closer, um, kind of just like idling. <laughs> uh, and and you you walking with your crossbow. You've got your glyph kind of glowing and, and touched upon the bolt, uh, and you roll to fire. Yeah, there we go. Yes! Shoot him in the eyeball. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shoot him in the dick. Get right through the peepee. -pee. Mm. Okay. Really okay. Uh, one second. It, his butthole explodes. It, it's 5d8 damage, I believe. Wow. If they, if they uh, don't save, they have Whoa. an opportunity to save. I guess a 21 though. Let's be real here. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe butthole explosions. <laughs> oh. Yes. Holy. That sounds like a butthole to me. <laughs> uh. Okay. The explosion goes off, uh, and it is a dexterity saving throw that they are making. Uh, and not doing great with, um, almost coming out of nowhere, uh, you know, not really expecting anything quite like this, uh, your arrow <laughs> fires and explodes, uh, roll 5d8, you said fire damage? Yeah, fire damage. Alright. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, I see two eights. <clears throat> Jesus. Man, no Fucking Christ. Okay. And a one, though. It's average. It's average. But, I mean, it equals seven. 23 damage. That's my hit points right there. Um, uh, <laughs> really? you, you immediately critic. see, like, burning in, in the inferno, like, the silhouettes of these frogs just, like, dropping and writhing on the ground and trying to, like, oh. roll around in the muddy muck, um, but clearly burnt to a crisp and some croaking sounds emerging from within, um, the entrance, uh, to the keep. Um... You've clearly garnered some attention um, because you hear uh, what sounds like a lever immediately um, being pulled and the rusty porticullis, you see it just like clink, clink and just like lock in place into your dwarvish eyes. 
it's clearly just fucking shitty, poorly maintained construction. But the protocols that they were trying to drop is <laughs> completely stuck. Ah! And the entrance remains largely open. It, it, it was about 20 feet up. It only falls about 5 feet before it looks like it just completely locks. I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, shit! Oh, uh, shit! Here uh, it comes! <laughs> uh, you've certainly oh, made your three. presence known. Oh, that's three! Weird. What the fuck is my niche? <laughs> Jesus! Go, Grimla. And Matsu. Dude. Grimla's gonna kill us all. He's gonna be the evil bad guy from the whole campaign. <laughs> Critic. That says the guy who was unleashing lizards on us all. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He's gonna that's... be eviler than that. Oh. So, um, what's happening with the uh, broad strokes, the, the pen of giant lizards, and the small entourage of lizard folk warriors? Okay, so, uh, well, when it gets to my turn, I want to scream out like there it is the signal look how it burns and look how the bullywugs die uh they are no match for us we okay. will liberate you today and uh with the help of these lizards and then i point <laughs> to gra <laughs> oh all right so here's here's a here's how this happens i open the door but i open it in front of myself that right, way, so you're in between it. I'm and in the between wall. the fence and the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That way yeah, they can't yeah. get to you. Like Jurassic Park yeah. style. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I do that. And, I and open, then. Yeah. Well, I open it up. And I fly up. <laughs> okay. To get out of the way of the. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, Critic was saying all that. I did want to be doing a smoke monster for him. Yeah, yeah. Of, for of those lizards attacking the frog and. Uh. Uh, like I blew out like two more lizards, and then I blew out um, a lizard person. You joined your channel. And they were all killing the frog smoke monster that I had initially made. Okay. Yeah. Hoping to inspire yeah, yeah. confidence. Oh, yeah. I I yell out, Nine, come with me. And then I hop off and run with him. Okay. All right. Uh, one second, please. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be dope, dude. <laughs> no, this is gonna be fucking scary. These things are so big. I I'm actually nervous about opening this thing, but I did it because I feel like it was the right thing to do. I, I had to support. I had to support Krennic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one sec, please. I mean, I feel like you could have like done that thing and then ran over here, right? I want to I want to sandwich myself and that way I can see where they go and then I can mm. go the opposite way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's smart. I could climb the fence if I want to or okay. like I'm on run top of the back of one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Matsu, while all that was starting to unfold, you were using your your rope grappling hook uh, yep. combo to try to go <laughs> just scale up to like all the way to the top or actually let's let's uh, do this. Let's do this. Uh it's your turn at the top of the order here. Give me an initial athletics check. All right. Gonna roll an 18. Here it comes. 18. Oh close. my god, it's close. Ooh, so close. Plus zero. <laughs> um, uh, you, yeah. you easily latch on uh, previously to the to the top flat of, of like the parapet of this of this tower. Uh, like structure here and start scaling up um, basically the equivalent of getting up about I don't know 15 feet or so with the with the help of the rope and you get up to the second floor and um, you see uh, at this height lots of arrow slits uh, and light um, and maybe this will load for you because it's a much smaller image might just take a second hold please <laughs> holding <laughs> commencing you look into the window and you now see now obviously uh, this is just what um, Matsu sees right oh. now um, okay. I keep getting you... runtime errors I'm not sure if... oh you might I need to update to. update your fantasy grounds probably uh, maybe but if you look at my screen you can see it okay okay or you should just stop getting them yeah <laughs> um, that easy yeah. You you see a bunch of arrow slits that um, you know okay. light is spelling out from, uh, and you immediately spot uh, like one bullywug kind of moving around in there, 
um, like moving past. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, ha do do I know anything about bullywogs in particular? Since I'm um, I'm a turtle. Yeah, uh, I mean, y I mean, you know, they're. Uh, do I know any weak spots? Can I? Do I know what they're susceptible to? Or uh, not, not really. I mean, they're. I don't know. They're they're weird little evilish um, creatures that are you know roughly your size or a bit smaller. Uh, okay. Nothing nothing comes to mind you know of of actual like weaknesses or anything like that. I I want to um, go to the rope and shout to nine. Uh, nine nine. Get up here. <laughs> Nervous, okay. As as you as you <laughs> shout, you hear the footfalls of many, 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 many creatures stirring uh, beyond the arrow slits uh, on the wall adjacent to you. Um, when... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna move you onto this map. <laughs> You're in your <laughs> own map. Bye. But... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the that turtle shell falls from the <laughs> precipice. Uh, just for the sake of fun and clarity, uh, you see inside, and one of the uh, bollywogs oh picks up a spear leaning against like the pillar inside, uh, and grabs it and and almost uh, like just kind of corals down like like frogs do and just leaps towards the window with the spear at you and tries to like oh no. try to come out and like stab at you where it hears the shouting um, um do it. i, I want to use defensive duelist oh that is a good interrupt uh okay uh so basically, yeah, I, I did that once... from memory, so I'm trying to find. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You've, you, once per round, you can use your reaction and add your proficiency bonus to your AC for that attack, potentially oh, causing wow. it to miss you. So basically, you your AC goes from 17 to 20 as this guy comes lunging at you, but it's the only the one time you can do it during this round. So um, he lunges towards you, uh, doing this big standing leap, uh, like just fucking clearing. Uh, like he runs forward. And then clears like the last 20 feet uh, and comes like stabbing with like this spear out the window at you as you kind of like use the swing on the grappling hook and the rope to kind of try to dodge and, and deflect his attack. Um, thanks to your uh, defensive duelist uh, skills, you just fucking barely like uh, what did he get, block like, this guy. 18? Uh, he got a 19. Wow! Holy <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit! Grimlaw looks at you as as you look back, like just looking away from the explosion as cool guys do. Uh, you you see Grimlaw <laughs> looking north towards the camp and says, "I think we've got their attention, Oric." And you can see dozens upon dozens of silhouettes um rising up in the camp to the north uh all Weird around death. you um i'm not dropping tokens because fuck you um but <laughs> needless to say there is a large threat to the north that appears to be aware of the fireworks um oh auric you're so far away i want to find oh, better ways to do things um I'm so deep. <laughs> yeah, you are. God damn it. <laughs> you're as deep as Auric, only you're surrounded oh by God, dudes. God, look at all those fucking bullywugs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you were forewarned. <gasps> look how big that one is. No, he's oh not supposed God. to be uh, that big. That's the but very he's thin is an supposed, ironic name. He's not supposed to be that big. I'm just trying to fix a couple <laughs> things. Very thin. Very yeah. thin is really big. <laughs> um, he's not supposed to be that big. <laughs> That's the boss bully one. Kill him. Pictures on the game board are not as large as they appear. <laughs> <laughs> um, Smelly torso. This guy. Uh, no friends. Comes forward. <laughs> and let's see. Where does that window line up? So he's technically on the second floor here looking out the arrow slits. Oh, wow. You have uh, a good advantage, though. 
and he um, hurls a uh, spear at Krennic on the ground, completely misses. Oh man! Oh, it's battle battle music. Uh, you can hear a lot of commotion inside uh, the ground floor of this thing. Uh, now the gate is open, yeah? Or you're about to open it? Uh, it? It's open. I'm sandwiched between the fence and the gate. So, the, like, if this is the gate, yep. you are you were like there, and you kind of like opened the thing up. I imagined it opened like. Um, uh, sure. Like this so I'm like sandwiched between it I'm unleashing the hounds so you're just opening the gate okay it's not your turn yet I was just wondering where we left things before okay. the thing went off okay um, you notice one lizard inside does not appear to be moving uh, Krennic yep what are you doing and I, I, as a spear comes flying past you yeah Ooh, and that came up from where Matsu's it as yeah, that. yeah, like you're looking up about like 20 feet to the like, upper floor, and there's arrow slits on not on the ground floor, but on the upper sort of semicircle okay. of stone up there. And you see Matsu swinging on the side, and a spear jutting out from one of like the center <laughs> arrow slits. Yeah. Uh, I Got wanna. Okay, so from here, where's the only port coloss? Is it over here? Like basically this side of the. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So like again, okay. like the I know it's it's not perfect because like images are flipped all over the goddamn place. Uh, yeah. But the porticolis uh, is stuck. fucking like literally stuck shut there, uh, about like five feet down from the twenty foot archway. Yeah, but it's stuck. So what yeah. I'm gonna do is yell to Snapjaw to like take your men and storm the or take your lizard folk and storm the, the porticolis. <laughs> We God will hold racist. it open. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to fly. Let's see. Wait, how much my fly speed? Take 50. So I can. Oh, what? Oh, I can dash. What are you doing? I can dash and attack. Okay. I'm going to. Prove it. Uh, <laughs> well. Hang on. No, oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to step of the wind. Fly over. <laughs> step of the wind. <laughs> into one smooth motion over to uh, this spot and okay. attack. So I'd like as a bonus action, basically uh, fly 100 feet. And then as a move action and attack, I'm going to attack Feathered Whiskers. Okay. They're dead, aren't they? Those two are actually dead, yeah. I'm just oh, waiting. Dead. I'm just waiting to get to their tokens, but they were the oh, ones shit, that shit. like are burning and, and crisped. <laughs> okay, to the attack there. them. They're ne dead. Yeah, never mind then. I'm going to uh, fly up top. Yeah where okay. uh, Matsu is at, and okay. it lands, let's see, right, uh, on scarred left up. leg. Okay. Actually, if I, if I could fly up and then attack him just as I land on him, I want to do that. But do I need to uh, do Step of the Wind for that? I don't know. I'd rather not. Um, I didn't have to. The guy's name is Guilty Scream. <laughs> I mean, are you, I mean, like, you'd have to go in through like the window, here essentially. Here. Yeah. Oh, can I do it? What is your what's your your overall speed supposed to be? A hundred. Well, right. okay. It's, it's I fly at fifty. Okay, so you're doing like a, a double. Well, I don't know. Do I need to? Well, I, I'm, I don't know how far away it is. <laughs> you I mean, it's a little theater of the mind here because I'm not yeah, sure how. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like you're saying, you, you have fifty. Yeah. Yeah, you would need to double. <laughs> okay. Pythagoras, uh, Pythagoras says that if even fifth, if it's 65 across horizontally. Okay, I'll double move to get. Up. Yeah, I'll double move to get to where I'm just gonna double move just to get where Matsu is at. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna hover kind of next. Stay airborne, out. like outside. Yeah, yeah, but like oh, just off of the arrow slit, so I have cover from it. Okay. Yeah, All right. That's it. Cool. Yeah, I'm good with and that. And then I say, on my signal, Matsu, we're gonna go in there. Okay. <laughs> Monk it up. <laughs> Monk it up. Alright, all right, yeah. hold on a second. I'm gonna, I need to do one thing. I don't think he knows what monkey up is yet. Oh, he's gonna know. <laughs> or after you, learn. Matsu. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I drew two boxes on my screen and I can't get rid of them. I got two boxes. What is mucking it up? Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, I out. see the boxes on mine. You do? I didn't yep. know if it was like a local thing or. The, the yellow ones or whatever? Yeah, interesting. Yep. You give me what I want. Hold on. 
please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please hold. Please sleep. Monkey! 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 Please hold. Ah, <laughs> uh, there Matsu, we go. Matsu, Matsu, Matsu! It's me. Monkey! <laughs> Hey bitches, it's me. <laughs> hey! The turtle head pokes out. <laughs> it's like, hey! I'm gonna try and drive third. Hey! I'm gonna try and drive third. I'm awesome. I'm 10 uh, stories high right now. How much high are you? Uh, how are you? Kyle, I updated. You don't have to display that anymore. Yeah, I oh, you're try, good? I oh, drew yeah. three, three squares. There we go. Alright, these are each gonna represent like a platoon of lizard folk. How about that? That's why they're bigger. Okay. That has their numbers <laughs> giant and out. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Shrink. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what I was looking for. Alright. Alright. You guys are in there. You're in it. Wow, there's a lot of squares on there. Yeah, look how many I could draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> clear those. No, you, you need them. That. No no no, I was doing trying to get for size. It's hard to do that there on the go, surface. There we go. Okay. All right, all right, Krennic, you are in position. Yeah. Uh, this, Shit. this fucking guy. You're through the portcullis. Uh, another one comes out and starts hurling fucking spears at lizards, misses. Uh, same. Uh, actually, this guy's on the ground floor. He's moving up. He's We're moving too good. Up. We're helping the lizards. This fucking guy. Hurricane head. Ah, this guy doing things. That guy's uh, burnt to a crisp. Huzzah! So is this guy. Um, this guy's moving around. All right, Gra, you're getting the sense of the giant lizards just opening a gate. It's not really doing it for him. Uh, like, some of them are kind of, like, they're, like, still chomping at any scraps, looking up any of, like, the muck dirt that has any bits of that meat left on it. Uh, clearly, opening the gate isn't enough for them to, to start doing things. Um, it's cool, though. Uh, we come back to these guys who start, okay. uh, moving, uh, collectively towards, uh, the gate. Speed's 30. Eh, good enough. And we get to nine. Hello. Hey, that's me. Hi. Hey. Uh, of nine or er, nine? That's me. Uh, Matsu told me to climb up this rope, so I'm going up there. I don't know what's up there yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna. All right. The same <laughs> the same rope that Matsu's hanging off of. Yep. He didn't really <laughs> signal for me to stop or anything. He just told me to come up. Yeah. All right. So you kind of get on that thing. These are the consequences we live Start with. Climbing. Um, for you. You've got like uh, climb with ease, like twice. I feet. certainly do. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I'll allow you to, to carry that on. Uh, now, what's your game plan as you get up there, up into Matsu's butt, because he's still I hanging off of the off the yeah, road? Yeah, yeah. Is this like a one one road, one lane road here? It is, but I mean, like you know, you're a cat. Walk in... You're a cat with like rough uh, stone and windows and arrow slits Can... in front of you. You could certainly okay. like. It looks make like there's the a move. border. Like, like a little ridge line around the the, yeah. the perimeter. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna get up there, and I see that there's not a lot of room. I'm like, Matsu, what's going on? As part of as I'm moving up. Nine, here. Yeah. there's tons of Bullywogs inside of this castle. Okay. <laughs> don't be, don't be a pussy. And then, <laughs> and then <Sister> cat. <laughs> nine, nine wants to climb uh, this direction <laughs> if he could to look towards the window. But okay. Distance wise, I don't know how that works out. You, I'll, use I'll allow you to get like, too. yeah, I'll allow you to get, um, get up up on that shit. Uh, you can position yourself where you want, but that's gonna be the end of your turn. Okay, so it's like a double action. Essentially, yeah. I mean, between the climbing and the okay. maneuvering. Well, I'm gonna keep myself pressed against the wall, not giving away my presence at the moment. Okay. Uh, bro, Oric. <laughs> so this is, is exactly. I'm putting a picture in. Uh, our chat here of how I imagine <laughs> things are about to start looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Start the plane! Start the plane! <laughs> I hate snakes! <laughs> so, Oric is gonna just start running. Um, actually, I want to say Oric's thought would probably be to run down towards this area to 
see if he sees any of his allies, because he is all mm. alone. Yeah. Start to play! Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you see them up above, uh, <laughs> flying and climbing. Uh, and, and you can't quite, you can't be quite certain, but you kind of see the large silhouette of Gra, uh, just past the brush that way. Uh, just like standing in front of the gates of the animal stockade and a large swarm of armed lizard folk moving towards you. Oh my Bruh. god. Like, I want it work to run in one direction and then see all the lizard folk and be like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of in the opposite direction. We'll just go yeah. Racist. Side here. Yeah. Uh, okay. And Oric is turning around and screaming over his shoulder at Grimlaw. Okay. Grimlaw! Uh, would he? Would he just like to come with you in this uh, sort of yeah. tone? Yes, okay. Shane, very much. Okay. Start the plane. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh. More of the. Where's this guy? Is this guy? Did I, miss I also him? assume. Oops, damn it. Let me find. I have a gift for you. Hold on, it's just really. Stupid. Okay. Just. Gra, you're in front of the pens. Uh, are the lizards uh flowing out of the pen past my my gate that's pressed against me? Mm mm. They're not. No. Uh, Gra uh tosses. He has a um a croc tail. On his inventory, he tosses it out in front of uh, the pen, towards uh, uh, towards the bushes. He tosses it out. This okay. Way. All right. You can have that for free. That's a that's a free action. Toss right. or a bonus action. Toss the meat. Sure. <laughs> he you already had cocktail. <laughs> the meat toss. <laughs> okay. Confirm delete. I uh, do they do they move towards the cocktail? Uh, they all immediately kind of <laughs> like just look towards it. Yeah, like they that, like they they want to. When it's Croc their turn. climbs climbs up the fence that's sandwiched between him up to the top. Okay. He waits for them to pass by. Okay. Are you like readying an action? What are you doing? Are you just kind of just I'm getting out of their way? A, I'm readying an action. I'm 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 on top of the fence, uh -huh. looking for them to run towards the meat that I've tossed down. On yeah. The okay. And then, uh, as, <laughs> as as if they pass by, I wanna I wanna jump Another down onto the moment. onto the back of one of them. Okay, uh, you can you can hold your action there. Um, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> That's how I imagine orc. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and Han Solo shoots one of them dead. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to die. <laughs> uh, you can see some bullywugs inside on the upper floor, like going to grab weapons. Those that don't have them, there's quite a few. Like you can tell, they were just trying to hang out here. Like fuck you guys. Um, this guy's going around, going around, going around. Some weapon gathering. Blah 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 blah. Uh, one of the lizards um, gets ahead of the others and like <laughs> comes rampaging out. Um, and immediately goes for the the tail meat. Uh, Gra, you've been holding your action. Go ahead and roll an athletics check. We'll do that. Do it, do it, yeah, do my it. bad, you guys. That was a shitty link. Oh my <laughs> god. Lucky for me, I have a plus 7, 15, boop! You drop down onto the back of the lizard, and just as it's about to, like, buck you uh, off, you kind of, like... <sighs> like just hulk out and like latch on and like kind of just clamp your forearms around its neck using like an awkward grip uh and you are presently sitting on top of the fucking thing my strongest muscles All right uh okay <laughs> you are securely on this thing uh and it is just like ripping through the tail meat and kind of like rears its head back up and you are currently constrained to it right. um We'll come back to you Nailed on it. your I'm next not dead. turn. <laughs> uh, these on guys it. are moving in. Snapjaw, like, kind of like takes a middle position, like as he's trying to rally everyone forward. And we come back to Matsu, hmm. who is currently <laughs> swinging go, Matsu, go. out of the go. way 
blocking one attack. A cat comes up from under your butt and leaps onto the ledge outside the window and moves around you. Krennic is like hovering above you and you now see clearly as you swing past the window all of the Bullywog little frog creatures scurrying around the second floor of this uh, this tower gathering their weapons up preparing for an assault. Uh um, what are you doing? What am I doing? Go okay. Turtle, so go turtle, go. Am, am I at uh like at what part of the grappling hook am I at? Am, do I have like slack on this thing or am I at the No, no, part? it it's taut onto like the roof of this thing up up okay. above. Um you are currently uh, physically in front of the second floor outside like the small sill that sits outside all of these arrow slits. Can I and climb windows. further up? Can I just keep going? Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna keep climbing. Okay. Oh damn. Floor uh, two. Sec. Top uh, floor. Hold, please. I refer you to Casey's. We are going to die. Gif. That was Dave's. Oh, was it? So yeah. it probably was. Oh, it uh, was yeah. thoroughly. Yep. I refer you to that gif. <laughs> <laughs> As, as you climb up further, <laughs> um, you're essentially getting on top of, uh, like, on this guy. You'd be getting, like, on top of the roof, uh, oh. like there. So, uh, make another athletics check if that's what you're after. I can't wait. Uh, I hope this works. I, f I have a feeling. Oh! oh, 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 uh, oh. Wait, really? Naked? Oh. Well, he's just um, a ninja, he's so, a teenage, um, as you turtle. as you wait, start uh, climbing, wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 retroactive. When I told him to not be a fucking pussy, I <laughs> inspired him with bardic inspiration. Okay, oh. sold. <laughs> 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 All right, you don't fall off the castle. Well, so uh, your D8. bardic inspiration is a D8 now, right? Okay, so roll yeah. roll a D8 there, uh, Matsu. Uh, fuck. Uh, three over. Okay. <laughs> you ain't no pussy. Uh, you, 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 you kind, you kind of slip as the frogs start reaching out and trying to like grab at you. Uh, and like you, you like you can feel the rope burn as they're pulling you down. You just like fucking, you acrobatics like fucking skip along the wall and like skip doop 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 and start climbing up past them and kind of just like push off of one of their their heads. Uh, and you just start scrambling up and you are now sitting um, comfortably. Uh, on top of uh, essentially the roof of this thing, um, you Damn. notice that from this vantage point, um, this is kind of like almost like a sniper's nest in many ways. There's this long, open aired, uh, dilapidated, no longer with a roof uh, corridor that stretches out uh, almost like a causeway uh, straight back down into the keep. Um, let me just find where the roof actually is. You, you at least see this much. Sorry, one sec. Uh, yeah, I'm loading here myself. Uh, no oh. roof. Oh, wow, it, it goes and goes, actually, with open air, no roof mode. Um, and you can see pretty clearly down into all of that at this stage and just for for the sense of what it looks like from above uh it'd be kind of like this on the other map you can see they're kind of like once one way once the other so oh, yeah uh yeah so um you don't see any uh people in there presently but you certainly have advantage point and uh this is gonna take all your turn um this guy. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get it's all my, music. I gotta get all my goddamn maps in order. You guys just like fully activated raid mode here on me tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shocking. Uh, Oric did try to talk reason, but I opened the gates. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, natural twenty. Hey now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Um, the the lingering lizard folk uh, group. Um, <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Uh, some of uh, two 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 spears come flying out of the tip of the penis from up above and shoot right into the lingering uh, group of lizards uh, who are trailing the rest, and and se- a couple of them drop and just instantly look like they're dying on the ground. Uh, the rest of them, uh, actually, no, they're still there. Um, Grimla starts making his way towards you, Oric. Uh, moving at 30 feet. Uh, oh. He's way faster than I am. Yep. He's, he's so much smarter now. Then he shouldn't be following me into he's the like, well-guarded castle. Like Stephen Hawking. Uh, another another um, <laughs> shooting out from like this way. Uh, a, a bunch of other uh, spears come flying out and uh, hit a couple lizard folk uh, for some, some some damages. Uh, another giant lizard comes out behind the other one, trying to rip the piece of tail meat away from the one uh, that Gra's riding. Gra, I need you to uh, roll a uh, another athletics check for me. Look, anytime you want an athletics check, I will. Oh! Oh! Torn apart by lizards. Oh. Um, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. if I gave him bardic inspiration because it is a natural one, does it even do him any good? Do you know I mean? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. You just fucked. You, you, you look back from the ledge and you're just like, oh no. He's on the oh no. <laughs> Ain't nothing I can do about <laughs> that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Gra, like you immediately, like you're like you're like you. clenched on, uh, and you just kind of do like the whole like whoop, 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 and like flip face plant back splat on the ground, looking up at two lizards feasting on the tail meat that's now gone, and they're just like slobbering uh, over you, uh, like this fucking T pose giant hunk of meat, uh, looking at these giant things above you, uh, and they still look hungry. Um, oh no, okay, I'm gonna have to word this right. Yeah, it's not your turn yet, though. That, that's yeah, what, that's the situation you're in. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> these guys move ahead. Krinic, you're up on the ledge. Yep. They're floating near it. Where did I put wait, you? Where? Where? Where's where the are turtle? You? Oh, wait, I think I turned Krinic, I turned Krinic into a, a lizard on accident. Oh, weird. That's what happened. Okay, hold on, I'll fix it. It's because of the disguise we made. Are before. you a Lizzie? Oh, there Matsu, you, you went to the roof? Yeah, no, I, you I kept w- climbing. Oh, you just I, kept I got climbing? On the roof. <laughs> he kept going. Oh, okay. So, uh, if we get. Uh, do you see a way up there? Uh, yes. Inside. Fly up here, you're an owl, aren't you? Oh, yeah, okay. I fly up there. And nine! Use okay. the rope! And then. You don't have to be so flashy. There we go. So, you know what? Let's skip these guys. Let's go I'm straight saying, to the top. I'm saying. And then find. Uh, Resmir in Bone Gray Boner, Gray Boner's chambers. Okay. Alright, so you're flying up onto the roof. Uh, yep. you also, on this, like, outer little defense tower that you guys are on top of, uh, can look out to the main keep, see this sort of, like, kill corridor that has an open roof in front of you. You're just holding up here? Uh, I'm gonna fly further ahead. I'm looking for... I'll fly another... Oh. Eh, there you go. Let's fly another 50 above it, looking for, uh, yeah, where, Matsu, wherever Matsu where I feel like the main uh, chambers would be. And, set, and shouts, the leader. maybe you can find the others. Uh, I mean, yeah. you, can, you can see well, that this important. this open um, uh, chamber here, uh, like, kind of wraps around into uh, a doorway uh, that leads into what appears to be the main keep. Mm, okay. And then is there like a tallest tower kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like look if you, do you still have that poster open? Oh yes, there we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's Castle all in the mirror. All that business looks like it's got oh, so about ob- three floors up there. That observatory is real? 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I, mean, I, I fly to the observatory. Okay. Uh, interesting. All right. Um, that's I feel gonna, like that's gonna take that's some time. Something. Yeah, <laughs> I double move to do it's it. It's twelve hundred <laughs> feet away. Okay. Oh, wait, is it re wait, really? It's really far. I mean, like you, no one's gonna be able to follow you. It's just make sure that's perfectly clear. Uh, I'm you could, do, you could you could do it. Yeah, reconnaissance. Start okay. Recon. All right, I'm not gonna move your token around, uh, but yeah, you start flying towards it. it. All right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Um, nine, it's not your turn, um, but you are on that ledge, yeah? Yeah, this is a big cock tease. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a you... Big cock roll, a big uh, I need you to roll a stealth check for me, because while this guy doesn't know that you're there, it, it definitely saw a flying owl and a swinging turtle uh, oh, nearby. Oh, shit! That's <laughs> 24, is that good? That's good. Uh, <laughs> you see, like uh, one of the one of the frogs kind of like comes like towards like one of the windows, like the spear, uh, the couple spears drawn, like one in hand, one at the ready. Like looks out the window, like you kind of do like the not here, and like just uh, press yourself against the wall, and it throws it forward uh, down below. Um, Your tail takes the form of one the one one of them. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them uh, hits. Uh, like it's not the best shot, so only, he throws two. One's awful. The other one collects uh, and nails like the back couple lizards there. Um, no. Oh, the frogs are attacking the lizards now. <laughs> yes. We that's no, that's we not did. good. That's bad. No, we no, we want them to fight each other. Yeah, but we want to kill. take the, their mind off us. Well, I want to kill the. <laughs> To the I frogs. Think I, I think you want to kill the immediate lizards in front of you, Kyle. Oh, well. I want to kill the frogs for sure. We also want to kill the dragon kneelers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The cultists. Uh, nine. That's my turn. For reals. Where are you in relation to um, the leaner? Okay, so they didn't see me. So you're you're pressed my... against the wall. You see uh, everyone moving out uh, on the ground towards like the main gate's ramp. Uh, you do see Graf fucking do like a end over end flip and land hard on the ground, and a bunch of giant lizards surrounding him. Uh, and Krinic and the Tortle have gone uh, slightly higher than you up onto the flat of the roof and beyond, as far as you know. Okay. Oric is and down in the middle of the thoroughfare, uh, literally in the crossroads of the entire region. Yep, I don't want to get caught with my pants down, so I'm going to follow uh, Matsu okay. higher. Okay. Um, you easily climb up the like the last remaining 10 feet and hop over the edge. Uh, and the two of you are there and see Krennic kind of like flying and hovering above just ahead of you scouting. Are you uh, holding here? I guess so, yeah. I just move as far as I can to get up, catch up with everybody. Okay. Uh, Auric, are you available? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here, yeah. Um, I'm going to continue moving towards the uh, the drawbridge. Okay. Like the main the main area. Okay. Um, yeah, some of the lizards have uh, gotten in front of you there. Uh, okay, cool. And you move in behind them. Yeah, so you've yep, got like yeah. you've got like a small small meat shield in front of you of lizard folk, uh, and you see into the lower floor now. Okay. You see into the penis. What do I see in the tip? Uh, hold, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and here on the ground floor, um, you see uh, a, a bunch of bullywogs and uh, giant frogs, giant compared to a normal frog uh and it's it's kind of gross you, know, you can see almost like plank like makeshift boardwalks just placed across like the gross mud uh you can guess from what you've seen thus far around here that like the frogs the actual frogs and the bullywogs kind of like like being down in the muck and the mire and and so it's like really gross mm -hmm. um and clearly other people do not and therefore there's like the boardwalk kind of like splayed across it in in a way that in a path that like leads into the building and, and through mm -hmm. the corridor um 
It's about 10 feet wide, this boardwalk. Um, plenty of muddy footprints across it. Uh, and you're, you know, there's still lots of smoke from your explosion, but through it all, you see uh, a lot of, of a lot of frogs, both normal and bipedal. Um, and you see a staircase as well, actually, uh, to the rear. I want to shoot the first guard I see if I can. Uh, unless I, unless you had I to take move. a, you had to take a double move just okay, to get cool. here. Then, never mind, I'm good. Okay. Um, seeing you all, and since you're good, uh, seeing you all, like the one of the bullywogs posted up against one of the pillars, uh, throws uh, a couple spears towards the lizard wall in front of you. Uh, one of them does connect and uh, injures uh, one of them quite badly. Uh, Gra, you've got a lot of hungry yeah. faces looking down upon you. You're still sharing your screen, by the way, if you want to. Yep. Giant, giant Lizard 14. I try to hop on to Giant Lizard 14. Okay. How exactly are you doing that? I am going to punch it in the face. And then I'm going to use it as a stun to slip onto its back. I'm okay. Uh, roll for the sake of simplicity. Uh, just roll the attack roll from like your your great axe. We'll do that. Uh, nope. All right, there we go. My great axe. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you you clock the thing quite hard with an attempt to, to sort of daze it, uh, and you're just trying to brute force strength your way back onto this thing? Yep, I'm going to get on his back. Okay, uh, you, you clock him, I'll allow you to make an athletics check as your move action to then like just clock him and just like, try to like climb your way out of there. And you do, um, like the other, the other lizards are kind of like chomping uh, at you a bit. Uh, looking really, really hungry. Um, like you've, you've only just sort of wet their appetite with this meat you've been throwing out. Is there one that has, uh, snipped closer than the others? Um, Lizard 8. Uh, Lizard 8, I use Action Surge, and I punch it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, roll, roll to hit again with one of your weapons. Like you uh yeah you you're you're latched on the other guy and you just kind of like kick out and and like slam into the ribs of this guy and it sort of like <laughs> like backs away from you a bit um and you are uh still latching on to lizard 14 as far as I, i'm concerned i heal lizard 14 in the in the loins with my with my heels and i charge it and i charge it forward Board Snapchat. Oh no, like a healing spell, like uh. No, no, like I kick it. In like the, you want to ride it. In the hind points. And then, sure. And then I, I march all of these lizards toward. I'm hoping that I've mounted the largest one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just riding a bullywog. Yep. No, okay. I'm, I'm riding a giant lizard. And I, I'm riding them towards Snapchat. I, I, I mount him and I, and I motion him towards Snapchat. Okay. Um, all this right, is not you, gonna end well, guys. <laughs> you are you are trying to do that. Yep. Um, this guy. Well, I'm not I'm not dead, so it's at least in action. Okay. Um, roll a uh, gra for the sake of your lizard. Roll an animal handling check. That's two. All right. Okay. That's good. Uh. No longer trying to buck you uh, off of it for the moment. Uh, this guy uh, starts clamoring forward uh, with you on its back. Gra yells out, Yeah! Uh, some, of the, some of the giant frogs from within the lower levels start hopping out towards the, the lizards that are moving in against them. Um, one of them rolls a natural 20. Oh my god. They slay. They slay hard. <laughs> uh, the bullywogs cower before Gra. 
it uh it, it actually just like hops on and slams into uh one of them and immediately takes it down uh reducing the ranks pretty significantly right off the bat uh the other lizard folk uh move in behind uh Auric in the initial group snapjaws right behind them and we return to matsu on the roof alongside nine. Oh man okay Heck, let me maximize Kyle's screen again. Oh, oh shit. Trouble. Yeah, here you go. Um You're you're above this uh this floor. Like you're on the you're on the ceiling. Yeah, I'm on the I ceiling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um I Matsu Matsu is going to run north. Let me find my portrait real quick. I think it's gonna look something like like this. What that quote? Maybe something more like this. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna move there. Uh, and towards Oric, and I want to see uh, if if I can communicate with Oric at all. Uh oh oh okay I got gotcha. you. Uh yeah okay. Uh you're moving across, like running across the roof to like look down below. Um at the ramp uh, leading up and you see yeah it's almost like it's not it's it is sort of down below but like it's almost like uh it's almost at an even eye line as as auric approaches uh the the porticullus um and what are you yelling auric can you find a way in or up yeah i'm going through the door right now if you want me to throw a rope down to you, I can throw this the grappling hook I use, and you can join us. What he's talking about? Which grappling hook he's talking about, Dork? The, the one that's right behind me. 45 feet behind me. Oh wait, that's I mean, the one that you made, isn't it, Dork? <laughs> I yeah. imagine all these like lizards are like pushing past me. Yeah. As I'm like stopped and I'm like and I just shrug at you and I just keep going <laughs> okay so Oryx out of there yeah <laughs> okay yeah um I mean you, you you can tell from up here in this vantage point right that like you're on this roof uh I don't know about like 50 feet up down below 50 feet is this open corridor that would connect to the hallway or the room that he's going into. Okay. Um, Does that make I, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see it now. Um, Matsu's like, going to head head towards the, the corridor and and kind of he's gonna put his back to to the wall and and uh, extend his neck around the corner and kind of check to see what's going on down that corridor. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll give you. I give you, you run over a shadowed orc and kind of like make your way this towards and like you're up above there. Um, Damn. So much posturing. So much posturing. Um, no one is near the windows of the upper floor anymore, huh? Thank you. Cool. Where, where's nine again? I'm on the roof. Okay. All right. Um, Grimla. Uh, is following uh, with the with the masses here. Um, Can't he fly? Grimlo? If his wings are okay. He can fly. Doesn't, didn't he pick that feat? His wings are still healing. In in that um, he might, but I haven't had time. I broke one no of his wings. Uh, it's been like two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's healed. <laughs> It's broken bad. He hasn't he hasn't <laughs> regained his confidence in them yet though. <laughs> I, I turned it inside out. You feel me? <laughs> it's one yeah. of those little gimp wing now. It's just hideous. <laughs> it's absolutely hideous. He just flies in circles yep. all day like long. They're embarrassed of it. He does, he like covers it up in conversation. Grimla will fly now and he just flaps in the mud. <laughs> um <laughs> Gra, you notice as the swarms of other lizard folk and giant lizard creatures uh, sort of spread out around you in this crossroads. Um, fuck. 
Um, so, 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 so many Bullywogs and other giant frogs to the north are kind of like moving, and then you all kind of hear collectively um, a loud war drum, uh, almost as if an alarm uh, kind of start to bang. Oh no! That's a resonator drum. Yep. Uh, -oh. uh, and there's just like a boom, 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 echoing uh, out I, from the region to the dragons? north. What's that? Can I finally try to de detect dragons and, and become successful at? No. Uh, <laughs> that's not how that works. Um, Krennic, what are you doing? Ah. Uh. Uh, well, I was flying to that observatory to see if uh, there was any like important shit happening up there. Yeah, yeah. Does it look like that or not? Um, let's take a look. One second, please. Dinosaur. <laughs> Why are you sending us screen grabs of a wiener? What? Dave, Dave sent us a, a dick pic. Um, uh, what? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. It says drums. Drums in the deep, bro. So you yeah, like you start dick. you start flying <laughs> towards uh, the upper tier of this thing, and as you get closer and closer, it appears to be like this ancient um, observatory, uh, not as dilapidated as you would have guessed from this far out, um, but it's unclear to you whether it's still operational or not. Uh, so, oh, like it doesn't look like there's people there. No. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, make a perception check. Oh, yeah. yeah there are peoples there. <laughs> How many peoples are there? Oh, oh, you don't see 19. people, um, but you do notice four um, statue-like winged um, things along, uh, along the oh. roof near that upper tier observatory. Very gargoyle-like in form. Oh, I'm not gonna go near that trap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like Mad Max. Yeah. I, I touched the gargoyles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I fly within range. No, uh, I'll fly back down to my friends. Okay. All right. Uh, you begin gliding back down uh, towards your friends on the on the roof of the. <laughs> yeah, the back to where uh, Matsu and Ryan okay. were. Cool. We're um, safe. Uh, the bully, some of the bullywogs are moving in to confront. Uh, and... Our lizards are probably so inspired after watching Critic a show with all the monsters and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm riding a goddamn lizard right now. <laughs> yeah. I would call that inspired. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, where the fuck is that guy going? Uh, oh yeah, he's going upstairs. Actually, this guy, uh, you, or it's getting hard to see, but you see a couple bullywugs um, start making a break for the, the corridor. Okay. FYI. Uh-oh. I can't uh, do anything, so. No, no, but, you know, optics. That's what you see. Uh, blah, 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 these guys move in and clash. Oh shit, natural 20s for the lizards. Oh no. Oh no, shit, that's good for us. Well, that's good, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, oh man, okay. They uh, they smash into this fucking dude uh, right on the forefront there. Um, God, there's so many. Things. Things, yeah. So many. Uh, okay, he's dead. I'll remove him from the board later. Um, nine, what are you doing? That's me. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. We're just getting in the thick of it, and it's 1.30. Yeah, I, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm <laughs> tired as hell. Uh, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's let's start Epic See, Castle Siege. Like, uh, oh, no, oh, there we go. No, no meandering, no bullshit. Uh, right like, into it. right, right into it. Next time. I love that. I would love that. Boop, yeah. boop, 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 cool. Sounds good. All right. All right this right has on. been a great oh, lead-up, though. I feel like this has been awesome. <laughs>
I'm I'm on a Loose lizard. Plan. I'm on I, a lizard. I am going to assess since you, you've put me into this situation. Uh, large scale quantity combat ideas for next time, <laughs> just to streamline turn order and and we, all that. We fucked up the whole map. I was <laughs> I was starting to get into it with the uh, large units. Uh, I'll probably do something <laughs> similar like that and just um, yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. We done fucked up the whole map. <laughs> cool. It's definitely very interesting. All right, the uh, yeah. the siege on the swamp castle next week. Uh, until then. <laughs> awesome. A boner gray. Thanks, uh, yeah, boner gray, gray boner. <laughs> boner. <laughs> he's he's clearly designed the castle after his own namesake. Uh, possibly next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs>